Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are, and welcome to Quizzlemania 41. Bloody hell, we've done loads of these, and this is a very special Quizzlemania because it is Losers Club. Now, <clears throat> Merriam-Webster uh, Merriam defines loser as a person or thing that loses especially consistently or two, a person who is incompetent or unable to succeed. Uh, that being said, we have scoured the Quizzlemania history books for four of our biggest losers of all time. Now, a couple of things that I took into consideration when determining who were the biggest losers in Quizzlemania history, obviously Ollie, um, and then it came down to like, who's come in last place the most? That's how Pete Quinnell slept, uh, kind of crept onto this list, but also who's had a very lower than average score. Now you'll notice there is one person who's only been on Quizzlemania before, but he did come in last place that one time he was on, and he did real bad. Uh, but yes, other than that, everyone else has been in last place multiple times. But before we head over to our losers, a question that a lot of the fans have had for us is, now hang on, how could you be doing a show about the biggest losers and not include Denise Salcedo? Because she's come in last plenty o times and has a fairly scrote average score. Well, don't take my word for it. Take the word of Denise Salcedo herself. A lot of people have been asking why Denise Salcedo isn't on the Losers edition of Quizzlemania. Like, you know what? I got to say that I am very, very ashamed of everyone participating in today's Quizzlemania. You are letting Adam absolutely just use your name for marketing purposes to pronounce you all as losers? Where is your dignity? Where is your pride? Adam, you are using all of these competitors to make fun of them for being losers on Quizzlemania, even though all of your games are silly and dumb. You know what, Adam? I've had enough of it. You know, I thought you were a good guy. I made you into somebody fantastic. I used you as my muse for Adam Blamplate. Well, you know what, Adam? This is how I feel about your losers club. I'm done. I am done. I will not be used by Adam on Quizzlemania. Also, I remain queen of the losers. Cheers. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at underscore Denise Salcedo and subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Denise Salcedo. Good luck, losers. The only thing I don't like about that is it wasn't me who killed the plate. Uh, well, that's that out of the way. Let's head on over and meet our capital L, Lehu. Zahers. Let's start with the Jam Nat champion. He is a seven time last placed finisher. Here's your one and only Pete Quinnell. Hello, Pete. I, I can't believe what we just witnessed. I mean, that was good. That was shocking. It? That was, um, Fuck no, I mean, can, can, can someone take Adam Blompe to a local medical facility or, you know? Nah, he's dead. Just okay, cool. Well, anyway. I'm I'm excited to be here uh, because I think that I'm not a loser because I'm the Jam That Champion. So I where's the championship really belt, Pete? Where's the it's, belt, Pete? It's Pete, where's the, the belt? Other, it's in the other room. I could go get it, but I don't have it right now. I go get the belt. Go get the belt, Pete. <laughs> if you, I'll bring it in time for the main show. I promise. Oh, this is. I'm not. I'm not holding the belt. I'm not holding the belt for a three-hour show. All right. Why did? Why I'm do you get your not. manservant to get it? I could do that. I could get my man's over to do a lot of things. Hey, do you know what I mentioned on the NXT podcast today? If you didn't listen, which you should have, because it was great. It's me and Laurie. Oh, I did. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mentioned on there that I thought it would actually be a really fun idea. I've been getting loads of really fun ideas from a lot of people of what I should make my manservant Ollie do that would be like really embarrassing. And we thought just because, you know, he's got the hair transplant and everything and he's it's starting to look really good now. Like it's, it's growing in and it's actually looking pretty decent at this point. I thought now would be a great time, especially on quizzle mania you know a place where loads of people have shaved their hair and beards and eyebrows and things for charity why don't i get ollie to shave his head after he's just got this fresh load of hair just get it right off again it's for charity so we can't say no right like i think that's a great idea 
So I reckon we should do that. All right. Well, it's in the books now. It's on. It's on record. Ollie's going to shave his his bought and paid for hair. Cost him a pretty penny. No. He can't say great? no because he's he's your manservant. Um, man so it's amazing. Before. Before we head over to Ollie to find out how he feels about having to shave off his freshly grown follicles, uh, what are you going to do to uh, avoid being the ultimate loser tonight? I'm going to be me because I'm not the ultimate loser because I am better than everyone else here. Oh, nice to have you, Pete. Uh, right, let's head on over to his manservant, of course. It is Ollie D -D -D Davis. Uh, how do you feel? You're going to have to put, well, I don't, you're not even putting your hair on the line. You have to shave it off. Sucks and to be it, you. It, I just got it. I'd, I'd just... like to clear it. wasn't a hair transplant. It's, it's fish oil that has made the hair come back this well. And the hairline. MJF has described this hairline as impeccable. <laughs> and I don't, I don't, I, I just, I struggled all my life. I, I've always self identified as someone with a strong hairline, and I've now got it. And, and now, but he's my master, he's the man. That's why I wear this bow tie for him. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? I, I guess I'm going to have to just freaking shave it off when he asked me to. I guess okay. so. I'm so sorry, Ollie. I'm Ollie, I'm so sorry. Hang on a second. I've just had a private chat. Oh, hello. Uh, so I've just had a message from um, our mod mother, Jenna, who uh, moderates all your comments. Be kind in the comments. Uh, apparently, Jenna wants to hop on the stream. Give me two seconds. Let me just give her access. Uh, there we go. Hi, Jenna. Hello. Hello. Thank you for wading through all the shit for us. On yeah. a permanent basis. Appreciate There's that. A swear jar. <laughs> oh no, it's Quizlemania. I can I can swear as much as I please, and That's I will. That's true. Um, but what what what? How, how can we help you, Jenna? Look, I've had a craptastically horrible day today, and I just can't sit back and watch any more bad things happen. Um, I mean, look at that face right there. The face in between us. That's. Mm, nobody needs to see that. Um, so can we can we bring Pete back in here? I need to talk to him about something. Okay. My goodness. Okay. Go Hi, for it. Hi, Pete. Hi, Pete. What the hell is going on? <laughs> How's it going, Pete? Yeah, I'm oh, oh, doing really okay. well, Ollie. How are you holding oh, up, bud? Good. Good. Okay. So, Pete, we have a problem, okay? Now, you know, as, like, head mod, I see, like, all of the comments, and I see what the people like and what they don't like and, you know, all of the swears and stuff like that. The problem that we have, and I know that Ollie's your manservant, you can make him do just about anything. The problem is the hair is over, like Rover. You know, everybody loves it. That's why they watch the show. We can't have Ollie lose his hair. And it's, it's not just because he spent all that money and spent all that time and, you know, sweat, blood and tears. It's because he's over. And we have to think about what's best for business. You know, this business gives us our paycheck. So we got to think about what's best for business. But before I'm just saying you can't do anything and we're not going to, you know, shave anybody's hair. We have Crown Jewel um, coming up next week. We have the live reactions for that. And it's a charity stream. We should have some sort of incentive for that charity. So what I propose is that instead of Ollie shaving his head, when we reach our goal, I will go ahead and cut mine <laughs> and shave my head. <laughs> you have so much hair, more than all of us like, combined. Like, <laughs> like, like for, all of it? Like, for, like, like for real? Shave. For, for real. For real. As in what? Smooth Jenna? Yes. <gasps> smooth smooth uh, Jenna. I'm keeping these. I'm keeping these. The, okay. That, yeah. That's but, that's but no. yeah. You know, well, I, I, I think I like this. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's. I'm happy to do this trade. I think that's. <laughs> it's a Quizlemania okay. exclusive at Crown Jewel. If we raise a certain amount of money for charity, Jenna's gonna shave her head. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Mod Mother. You're the best. You're welcome, and you're welcome, Ollie. Thank you, Jenna. You're lucky. Is that Ollie. okay, Master Pete? Is oh that yeah, easy? it's fine. Just this one time. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, thank you, Pete. Thank you, Pete. Thank All you, Jenna. Right. 
All I'm right, gonna I'm say... going back to Ultra Chats. Bye, guys. <laughs> okay, bye. Holy hell. That Well, uh, right, all right, I'm just going to remove both of you. Um, you heard it here first, folks. That is amazing. Jenna is great. She's the best. But we have more losers to get to. Uh, we have what the fanciest loser, in fact. It's Sullivan Poe Brown. Hello. 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 What, what huge bombshells. Blonde plate's dead. Jenna's losing her hair. I've got nothing. I've got nothing to give you. <laughs> Apart from <laughs> uh, bad bandwidth, it would appear. You're coming through awfully fuzzy, Sullivan Poe Brown. Oh, yes. That's the way I roll. Poorly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sully, I'll try and sort it out. <laughs> you've uh, you've been on uh, Quizomania a bunch of times at this point. You've mm -hmm. come in last uh, not once but twice. Uh, you've made us made a little nest, a little home for yourself at the bottom. Um, mm. How do you feel about about being amidst so many other losers? Well, you know what, I feel very much at home. Uh, it's where I belong, uh, and you know, I nearly won Quizomania, and it made me feel. <laughs> D terrible. I couldn't deal with it. <laughs> couldn't handle the pressure. So I'm feeling great. This is where I want to be. Yes. With the this losers. Is, this is your Olympic podium. <laughs> I yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's lovely to have you here. Um, I, I hope your internet gets better, I guess. But um, try and sort that out now. <laughs> thanks, Ali. Goodbye forever. And finally, the one, the only. Uh, my best friend and yours. He is the Big D. It's <laughs> Big Demo. The big Hello, all that at the minute. You're all talking about losing hair, and I was like, "Oh Christ, I've just done that myself." So uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe when all these losers lose to me, then they all should uh, shave bald for uh, for uh, <laughs> community purposes. <laughs> I love it. You've come cosplaying as Pete. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, when did when did the when did the Chrome happen? So I've, I, I was kind of uh, saying this off air. Um, I uh, actually did this about four months ago, and uh, I've managed to do a good job to to keep it pretty hidden. Um, I think there was one guy tried to take a photo of me in in a supermarket the other day, and I was like, no, 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 uh, because I wanted it to be <laughs> I wanted it to be a, somewhat of a surprise when I uh, when I got my green card and was ready to start working again. So, and uh, first promo, boom, did the reveal, blah blah blah. So it was kind of a cool little uh, little moment, um, and they were telling me it was very funny. Um, like the people popped for a part of the promo, but then they popped more when I showed that I was bald. They were like, ah! So it's good that it uh, it didn't get negativity, so I'll take that. But being, uh, you know, Father Time was catching up with me either way. This was not done in a very cool, oh, let's do a really awesome way. No, no, I was uh, I was slowly losing my hair, and it was time to go. <laughs> so talking about losing, I was losing my hair, so there we go. You stepped, <laughs> stepped onto the show already the biggest loser. Now, you have only I'm, appeared... I'm definitely the largest loser, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you've um you've appeared on Quizomania but a single time just one time big demo uh but you did come in last with well, a measly... it was worse because i am a wrestler and it's yes. my chosen profession and i lost horribly at a show about wrestling so i i see i see why i'm here i see why i qualified and uh, i'm here to take my licks and uh try not to be the worst loser i'll i'll, I'll just be a loser Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming back. You're the best. Uh, we love you very much, and we'll see you uh, very at least, shortly. At least I'm not Sullivan Blur either. Huh? Oh, very uh, good. Uh, Fuck Sullivan Bo Brown. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you soon. Ah, oh, shots fired already. You love to see it. So obviously, uh, there are four four losers uh, in the show. Um, whoever comes in first place will obviously no longer be a loser. They'll be a winner, not of the Quizlemania Championship, but they will they will get rid of their O. They will have won for the first time. And of course, whoever comes in last will be the ultimate loser. And I might ask them to give a little speech at the end about how it feels to be the ultimate loser. Now, before we start, we are a sponsored stream today. And Ollie has made sure that I'm going to get my plugs in. He's got me at gunpoint. Uh, but if I, do you want to not be a loser? I thought you might. That's why you need Surfshark VPN. Only winners use Surfshark. And guess what? You qualify. Check the link at the top of the description. But don't just take my word for it. 
Take my word for it. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you're anything like us, you don't want to be told that you can't watch certain TV just because of the country you live in. Make sure you maximize your entertainment options with a great VPN like Surfshark. At WrestleTalk, we all use Surfshark. Pete uses it to watch Japanese Netflix because he's a massive weeb who just wants his senpai to notice him. Laurie uses it to watch The West Wing on US Netflix because he's the head of the Martin Sheen fan club. Luke is using it to watch all the DC movies coming straight to HBO this year. He loves DC. Much better than Marvel, he says. Ask him about it at this is luke owen on twitter and ollie used it to thoroughly encrypt his browsing so no one in big tech finds out how often he buys lederhosen it's often no matter what you want to use it for surfshark offers secure access to servers in over 60 countries across the globe get surfshark vpn at surfshark.deals forward slash jam that jam enter promo code jam that jam for 83 percent off and three months for free make sure you use that link in code so surfshark knows that quizzlemania sent you again that's surfshark.deals forward slash jam that jam enter promo code jam that jam for 83 percent off and three months for free. Without further ado, get in, losers. We're going quizzing. Hello, losers. How are we all doing? I, I disagree about Damo cosplaying as me. We look nothing alike. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Damo, did Absolutely. you try fish oil? <laughs> I, I've taken fish oil every day for about 20 years, mate. It didn't do it, make a blind bit of difference. I did that for me joints. <laughs> is it is old in the... Has it got a high EPA con concentrate? <laughs> Maybe not high enough, obviously, as uh, as time told, you know? So we're going to start the quiz. Um, there'll be a bunch of rounds, Ollie. Um, don't ask me how many there are. I won't tell you. Uh, but um, we're going to use this to crown the ultimate loser in Quizzle Mania history. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is the ultimate loser the person who loses to the losers? Yes. It is the bottom of the barrel. The... So the <laughs> So it's not the person who wins today. So no, we're just that, all hoping for even second or third. That's pretty sweet. But it's second the, or third. We're trying not to be fourth, unless we want to be fourth. In which case, Sullivan, all of this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's nice to have friends. Um, yes, you, you want to be uh, either second or third, ideally. You want to be first because then you will be a winner. It will go as a one. <laughs> On your, on your winning record, because none of you have won Quizzlemania. I don't care what you say about tag teams. You haven't won Quizzlemania, Ollie. You haven't. Um, but yes, the ultimate loser will be the person who comes in last today, and we're all going to uh, point and laugh at them. Uh, I thought it might be fun, because we do have our biggest collection of losers to date. I just figured, oh, I'm going to make this one a really trivia-heavy episode oh, of what? Quizzlemania. Oh, no. There's more trivia in this episode of Quizzlemania than the last 10 combined. Oh, <laughs> no. Fuck yourself, Adam. Tempest. Oh, no. Fuck yourself. Adam, why? Oh, it's going to be not fair. Make it's not like real pleasurable to watch. Oh. Yeah, it will. Uh, with that being said, our first round is pay per few. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Bollocks. Shit. <laughs> oh, we're going to have some fun. If so, you choose uh, any that I'm on, I'm going to kill you. Ooh, would oh, I have done something at, like that, Damon? Oh, at, at least three will have you on. Mm. So That's worse. Uh, That's actually worse. Uh, we're playing Paper Feud. If you haven't played this round before, um, I am going. Eat, there's going to be five questions. Each question, the answer will be a pay per view, a wrestling pay per view. Um, I'm going to, for each answer, I'm going to start by giving you clues. If you get it from the first clue, all the clues are matches. If you get it from the first match, that's five points. If you get it from the next match, four, three, two, and then finally the main event will net you one point. Um, you're not going to be writing answers down. You're going to be buzzing in. Uh, you're going to be buzzing in by saying your own name out loud. Everyone check your buzzers in three, two, one. Sullivan! Ollie. Sullivan! Hey. Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I kept losing. Oh, I didn't even say my own name. Oh, no. Uh, so you're going to buzz in. If you get it wrong, you are out for the rest of that question. Uh, if no one buzzes in, I'll move on to the next clue and I'll keep going until either someone gets it or we get through it. It's going to be fine, Ollie. Ollie, it's going to be fine. So the first pay-per-view we're looking for, I'm going to give you the first clue now. Um, what pay-per-view was this match on? Buddy Murphy versus Cedric Alexander. That could be any of them. There's lots. <laughs> they had a lot of matches. I am um, putting my ear out to see if anyone wants to buzz in. If I get no buzzes, I shall move on to the next match. 
All right. Ah, the deathly silence <laughs> that will become customary in this episode yep. of Quizzle yep. Mania. Uh, all right. Uh, next match, John Cena and Bobby Lashley <laughs> versus Elias and Kevin Owens. <laughs> oh, Demo. Demo? Uh, TLC 2018. It is not TLC 2018. Oh, Swing and a miss. Ollie? I'm out. Because I'm Four. assuming it's Elias and Kevin Owens after that Seattle promo, which is which is close to December. TLC 2019 is incorrect. Pete and Sully, you are still in for this question. I'm assuming no one wants to buzz in. <laughs> All no. right. I have no idea. <laughs> All right. This is, <laughs> then this is for three points. The Iconics versus Asuka and Naomi. This is not helping. I have such a blind spot about all wrestling. <laughs> what do you do for a job? <laughs> oh, I God. I'm all right, no worries. We'll, we get to. We'll move on. We'll move on. Uh, two points for this. Daniel Bryan versus The Miz. <laughs> oh, cock and bollocks. Um, shit. Uh, Pete. Pete, for two points. Because they had a few matches. Uh... <clears throat> oh, no, we've lost Damo. Damo, no, Damo, co Damo, come back. I'm sorry it's trivia. He's cut his losses already. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say... Oh, damn it. <laughs> Damo. Summer Slam 2018. It is not SummerSlam 2018. Sully, would you like to get the main event for one point? <laughs> yeah, go on. It's, it's, uh, that is obvious. Uh, hey, there we go. There's the main it's... event. <laughs> okay. Um, <gasps> is it? Is it one of the Saudi oh, Arabia shows? Oh, I know I exactly know. what show it is. Shit. Is it? I should have waited for the main. Cra Crown, Crown Jewel. 2019 i don't know <laughs> that was so so <laughs> cutely said and uh no i'm afraid it was not crown jewel 2019 it yeah. was super, super showdown. showdown 2018 uh, i got so the Aussie right. one right it, the aussie one correct the Aussie one, which is why it's show had women on ah won't yeah. be promoting the Saudi shows on this. Uh, so, yes, it was indeed uh, Super Showdown 2018. <laughs> Nil point for our losers. Starting hot, starting that makes on sense. brand. We are all, all losers. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can we, we, all lose score? Together? we just proved it. We, we proved it in one round. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, everybody. End of stream. End all of right, stream. see you guys later. <laughs> Bloody brilliant show, lads. Uh, right, next, <laughs> what, next up. Which pay-per-view does this match belong to? This is your five-point clue. Oh, Cody Rhodes versus Rey Mysterio. Hmm. Anyone? I've got Sully. A, a, rough, a rough year, but God knows what pay-per-view. All right. I will move on to the four clue, if no one is going to buzz in. Feeling tentative? No? Okay, on we go. Four points for this. Randy Orton versus CM Punk. We don't. We don't really. All right. Wrestling. Demo. All right. Demo. Oh, Demo. <laughs> Demo. Demo. WrestleMania. Randy Orton. CM Punk. Twenty. Uh, seven. Twenty-seven. Four points for Demo. Oh, yes. No. Literally, yes. as soon as you said WrestleMania, I was like, if he doesn't guess twenty-seven, I know it's twenty-seven. Oh, now that I remember yeah. Orton versus Punk on it, shit. Very, very good. My heart's yeah, beating, man. I think I've actually just started sweating. <laughs> the, <laughs> the worst WrestleMania, of course, because you probably would have got it from the three-point clue, which is Michael Cole versus Gary <laughs> yeah, Lawler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Edge versus Alberto Del Rio, and of course, The yeah. Miz versus John Cena. Uh, yes, Ollie? We, we've been hustled here. He's only lost about? once. And, and he's getting a yeah. four-pointer in the first round. Yeah. He's not a loser. He is a loser. He is a loser. He's a big winner. winner. I checked the score. There. No, 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 the key is do anything that I was on, because I definitely won't remember that. 
Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Let's do the next pay per view then. This is your five point clue: uh, Sanity versus Cassius <laughs> Ono, <laughs> Roderick Strong, Ruby Riot, <laughs> and Ty <laughs> Oh no! You couldn't give me up for that anymore, Big D. Uh, demo, demo, <laughs> demo. Come on, demo. Uh, NXT Takeover Orlando. Oh, he's done it in one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll take it. I'll take it. They, uh, that was actually the first time all four of us had wrestled as Sanity. So th- I actually remember it because that poster was in the uh, the locker room of the NXT male locker room for, for, for about five years. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I knew it existed because I was definitely looking at it all the time. So there we go. Very, <laughs> very, very good show. Uh, just oh. to uh, just for completionist's sake, the other clues were, of course, well, there's only five matches on the card. Uh, Authors of Pain versus DIY versus The Revival. Alistair Black versus Andrade Cien Almas. Asuka versus Ember Moon. And Shinsuke Nakamura versus Bobby Roode. If you'd have done any the other matches i wouldn't have got that ah, <laughs> when I got well, five points still to you demo you're absolutely showing up this shower of shite congratulations <laughs> <laughs> next up this is your third uh third, no fourth my goodness we're rattling mm-hmm. through but this is your five point clue for the fourth pay-per-view on what pay-per-view did kofi kingston and r-truth wrestle the primetime players <laughs> when the fuck was that <laughs> Yeah, thank you for saying what I was thinking. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, any takers? All right, we'll move on. Uh, the Miz versus Rey Mysterio. Oh, no. No takers, no biters. Mm. All right, we'll move on. Daniel Bryan versus Kane. Oh. Pete. Pete? Oh, I'm going to regret this. Three points, um... Pete. Would have been after that, so that would have been. I don't He's think this is right. Boy knows the answer. Ex- Extreme yeah. Rules 2014 is incorrect. Any t- any more takers for Daniel Bryan versus Kane? All right, for two points then. CM Punk versus Big Show versus John Cena. It's a weird match. <laughs> Thanks, Sully. Sure is. <laughs> sure is, buddy. What the fuck? <laughs> Ollie. Ollie. Great American Bash 09. Oh, 09? Oh, nine? No. no, sir. Um, and finally, your Wait, main 2009, event. 2009, it has a cut with Daniel Bryan on it. That's impressive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wow. Yeah. He, had a, he had a few dark matches. He had that yeah, SmackDown match. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and finally, uh, your main event, Brock Lesnar versus Triple H. Demo. Yeah, Demo. SummerSlam 2012. There it is. Yeah. SummerSlam 2012. You almost had me with Daniel Bryan and Kane. I was like, oh, I'm sure it was fucking something. All right. Very so, good, Demo. Sake, did Daniel Bryan and Kane have a match at Extreme Rules 2014? Because wasn't that the first feud yeah. for Daniel after he won the thing? Yeah, for sure. So I wasn't incorrect about that match. It was just all the other. All oh, right, Pete. Jesus Christ. Half I'm a point. A bit, participation taking, awards in the participation bit, event. Very good. Back. I like it. I just CM Punk was okay. with the company when in in a Great American Bash 09, I think. So yeah, I Daniel was Bryan right was too. Wasn't. Yeah, but by yes. by Pete's logic, I did okay. one kind of accurate bit. I just want to check uh, uh, a participation. Uh, Shave of the head, actually. That would yeah, be yeah, yeah. Just take one line down the middle. Just one line. Uh, mm. Sully, just want to check: is your you, is your mic working? I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, is the thing right? Is that right? I'm not a wrestling journalist, nor am I a wrestler. I am. Oh, an actor. oh okay. <laughs> I'm an actor. So, so I, my, I walk my the wrestling. boards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was How's too going, busy treading the boards. Hey, shut up. <laughs> Stop that. The industry's dead. All right? It's not my fault. <laughs> now, can I'm we just... all get extra points just for naming WWE pay per views at all? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's almost entirely what this round is about. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> but I will start the fifth and final question. This is worth five points. Allied Powers versus Blue Brothers. WrestleMania <sighs> 3. Go on. Give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if it was, Sullivan. It's not, though, of course. He didn't no, even I say his name. He didn't even say <laughs> yeah, exactly. his name. It wasn't an official <laughs> guess. wasn't an official guess. <laughs> 
you didn't cash all right. it in. This is why all right, we're all sorry, losers. You can, you can cash in on the next one then. Uh, Owen okay. Hart and Yokozuna versus the Smoking oh. Guns. Sa- uh, Sullivan. Yeah, Sullivan. This is obviously SummerSlam 1994. Oh no! Good, good shout though. Try, try it's again a, next round. It's would a good anyone, year. Would anyone like to guess <laughs> for four points? Magic. All right, moving on. Uh, Bret Hart versus Bob Backlund. Sully, what do you think this is? Uh, it's getting too obvious now. I can't. I'm not. Even, I'm just going to leave it to everyone else. We all know. Oh, We're all thinking. Yeah. Uh, any any takers? Any takers? For three points. Oh, this hurts when Tempest isn't here. For sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'd be so uh, mad at all of us. Two points. Diesel versus Shawn Michaels. Uh, uh, the demo. Demo. It's one of the best manias of all time. Mania 11. It is WrestleMania 11. Very good. Oh, you were almost there, Sully. You were almost there. There we go. Uh, WrestleMania 3. Yeah, the ma- main right evented, <laughs> main evented, of course, by uh, Lawrence Taylor versus Bam Bam Big Yellow. Uh, right. So that being said, let's take a look at our scores, shall we? Um, <laughs> Do we have to? Uh, in last place with zero, uh, it's Ollie Davis. In last place with <laughs> zero, it's Pete Quinnell. Uh, in last place with zero, uh, Sullivan Bo Brown. <laughs> And in first place with 12 points. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like if, if you weren't Demo, that would be bad at this. For that round, that would be bad. Um, but well done, everyone. Off to, um, off to a rolling start. I think everybody's just Quiet. warming up. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get those stretches in. Get in the iron. Get in the iron. It's been about three or four hours. Behind. You know, maybe even tomorrow, everybody will be ready to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I hope you're limber. I hope your brains are working because nope. we are moving on to uh, certainly not everyone's favorite round. Oh, no. Probably Sullivan's favorite round. It's oh. one minute warning. Oh, no. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, Ollie, you're a Tory. You must have seen uh, just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> seen what? Sorry. <laughs> you must have seen just a minute. No. The radio show. <laughs> oh dear! Classic radio four comedy. Yeah. Uh, right. So, <laughs> oh, you are infectious, Damon. Uh, so, uh, the way this works is very, very simple. If you've ever seen just a minute, you'll know how this game works. I am going to put one minute on the clock. Uh, e- there's going to be four rounds. Each round, one of you is going to start talking, and you have to talk about a subject I give you for one full minute. Without hesitation, repetition, or deviating from the subject. By hesitation, I mean pausing for multiple seconds or going, uh. Uh, By repetition, I mean repeating any word that isn't in the topic I give you. So, for example, if I say my favorite match, you can repeat the word my. You can repeat favorite. You can repeat match. Any other words that are repeated and someone else can buzz in and take over your topic for you. Um, basically, if you think someone has broken the rules of the game while they're speaking, you buzz in with your name. Uh, you present your challenge. For example, if Sullivan goes, oh, and you would go, oh, uh, he- you know, Ollie, buzz in, hesitation, at which point I would say absolutely. If you buzz in correctly, if you interrupt correctly, not only do you seize control of the subject, you also get one point. Uh, if you are speaking when the timer runs out, you will get three points. If someone buzzes in with an incorrect challenge or something that I deem to be unfair, that will be a failed challenge, and the person interrupted will get one point. Do I have any questions from the floor? What yes, about I take marks like... off for spelling mistakes? I don't take marks off for spelling mistakes. Ollie. <laughs> what about words like <laughs> the and uh? No, we don't do those. Like, uh, and, the, in. Mm-hmm. Like, if, if, if someone's just constantly going in, 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 then yes, <laughs> that would be classed as hesitation. But uh, as, as is most things in Quizzlemania, don't be a dick about it. It's the general overarching rule. That is our issue. 
that is the th- <laughs> that's the main that's the main credo we operate under here at Quizlemania. Uh, we're all clear on the rules. Yeah, not cool. really. <laughs> you've got it. you've played this before big damo you know how this I feel goes. the first time eh? <laughs> yeah. point. you are back here uh, right so we are going to start with the master of this round which is sullivan bow brown sullivan, sullivan. Yeah, uh you're very, very cool all right so uh sullivan i'm going to yes. ask you to talk for just a minute if you can about the following subject which is my first wrestling crush so remember, at any point after I say go and Sullivan starts talking, if he hesitates, repeats, or deviates from the subject of my first wrestling crush, buzz in with your name, present your challenge. I'll pause the timer and we'll deal with it. All right, Sullivan, are you ready to talk about my first wrestling crush? Indeed, I am. All right, you have one minute on the clock starting now. When I think about my first wrestling crush, I'm brought back to the late 90s and all of the beautiful people in the world of wrestling. But there was one person who stood out amongst all of the others, and that was Rikishi. (laughs) That beautiful (laughs) bum. So large. So Uh, cool. Ollie. Ollie? We've had beautiful twice. We have. Oh. That is a rep- that is a repetition of beautiful. You're absolutely right. One yeah. point. He also you, said Ollie. wrestling twice, but I really liked the promo, so I didn't stop it. Uh, wrestling, <laughs> well, wrestling is, is in the... wrestling oh, is in the to topic. Say wrestling. Oh, perfect. You're allowed, perfect. To, you're allowed to say perfect. my perfect. first wrestling and crush. Those are the only Obviously words. Obviously, I wasn't listening, so that, it's right. fine, Demo. <laughs> it's fine. Um, Ollie, you have 35 seconds left on the clock oh. uh, to talk about my first wrestling crush, starting now. My first wrestling crush (laughs) actually came a lot more recently than Sully's, who was in the late 90s with Rikishi when he had his. Mine actually came last year when I saw Tony Khan do an interview. And I looked into his eyes. And stop! His... Very. Oh, well, well, is that well, allowed? Yeah. That's yeah. allowed. Spoken like a true Tory. That was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Pete, if you had and a I, challenge, I just missed doing this at the same time with the points. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't want to incorrectly challenge Adam. That's the thing. I didn't know how the That's game. It's a worked. risk you're going to have to take. I might. I, I might I have pulled up. I might have allowed it. I will say there was also a repetition of came, uh, quite <gasps> apropos for the subject, but no one buzzed in. Time. Hey. Uh, so, Ollie, that's three points for speaking when the buzzer buzzed. Second. Very, very good. <laughs> All right. So, we're moving on to uh, the next person, which is Pete. This is for you. Oh, no. All right. The worst stipulation. So, again, you can repeat what the worst and stipulation. Um, you have one minute on the clock to talk about the worst stipulation starting now easily the worst stipulation in all of wrestling is a championship contenders match because not only does it not protect anyone involved in the match the title holder Uh, Sullivan Sullivan. a repetition of match Correct. Absolutely. Um, Sullivan, you get a point for a correct challenge. Your first of the game. Congratulations. Uh, Look how you proud have... of himself he is. That's so nice. <laughs> He's got his dukes up. <laughs> He's, ready ready to go. He's like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah we're all lads oh. here. Lads, lads, lads. Yeah. <laughs> lads, 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 lads. <laughs> the fight back begins here, folks. Uh, yeah. Sullivan, you have 43 seconds on the clock to talk about the worst stipulation starting now. The worst stipulation in any wrestling match must be a creation of Vince Russo on a pole. You see, there are many terrible stipulations out there, things that are overused and just ridiculous. Like uh, there are bo- bollocks fast. Ah, ah, he was doing so good. Heat. Hesitation. Uh, that would be <laughs> a correct what it was challenge. <laughs> what he was waiting for a pole for? on a pole match, wasn't he? 
<laughs> pole on a pole. Uh, I, was, I was searching for uh, the custody battle one. Uh, there was something like that. Yeah, but, mm. uh, I forgot the word custody. There you go. All right, Pete. Uh, you have 20 seconds on the clock to talk about the worst stipulation starting now. The thing about the worst stipulation is there are many great stipulations in wrestling. Hell in a Cell, Money in the Bank, Elimination Chamber, but nothing compares to a championship contender's bout because the champion is someone who... And that oh. is time. Oh. Very, very good, Pete. You did, of course, repeat championship contenders sure did. Uh, from earlier on, but never mind. You, they let you off. D which is very nice. I wasn't sure. Uh, oh, yeah, no, it doesn't reset. If the other person says it. Oh. Ah, so okay. the other, you, you, you only are charged for repeating your own words. So Pete ah. repeating himself back at the ah, beginning okay. would have counted. Okay, right. But if you then said champions contenders, you're not repeating because you didn't say those words in the first place. But that's a that's an interesting point. Something for the rules explanation for the next video. Um, big demo, oh, crap. the big D. Uh, we're going over points. to you. You got points, well Pete. Done, Three Pete. points for speaking while the uh, other great work, off. master. Thank you, mm -hmm. um, big demo. This is your topic. The most embarrassing thing I've ever <laughs> worn. You have one minute on the clock to talk about the most embarrassing thing I've ever worn, starting now. When we talk about the most embarrassing thing I've ever worn, it immediately takes me to wrestling. And I think of Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Triple <laughs> H, The Rock, Randy Savage, Mick Foley in all of his incorporations. Rick Flair, Bret Hart, Kane, Chris Jericho, <laughs> Andre the Giant, the Ultimate Warrior, Razor Ramon, Pete, Ed, Pete, deviating Christian. from the subject. Uh, yeah, 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 fucking right. Yeah, hundred percent deviating. Get away with that. I forgot about deviating. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Just fucking, naming fucking people. Right. I was doing my very <laughs> best. Literally, I was thinking. I, I was I'm just, gonna ram was... out every wrestler until they stop me. <laughs> I, was, I was taking the clock down to see how long it could go. So I, oh, time to talk. I was waiting for someone to jump on in. Uh, 27 seconds on the clock, Big Peter, did, to talk. You just did 33 seconds of wrestler names. <laughs> I would have done four just, and a half minutes, to be honest. It's quite impressive. That's quite the impressive. Sheer, chronological <laughs> new ones. Yeah. The fucking brass neck of the lad. But thankfully, <laughs> Pete jumped in. Uh, 27 seconds, Pete, to talk about the most embarrassing thing I've ever worn starting now the most embarrassing thing I have ever worn is well known in wrestle talk canon for we do music video punishments for those who lose wrestle league I once upon a time had to dress up as Mr. Ass and perform his song that was not a fun time I did not enjoy I'm Sam Sullivan. Sullivan repetition of time Yes, indeed. Once upon a time, and that was not a fun time. Very Ooh. good, Sullivan. That's a correct That's challenge. Look how proud he is. Look at his face. Look at this. Sullivan. <laughs> Sullivan. <laughs> Sullivan, would you, like hair, to... everywhere. would you like to hear something <laughs> fun, Sullivan? You've buzzed in yes. with two seconds oh! left. <laughs> <laughs> you have Here two... go. Here go. Match, match. Oh, crap. <laughs> two seconds left to talk about <laughs> the most embarrassing thing I've ever worn starting now. The most embarrassing thing that and I that's have ever <laughs> <Very good. laughs> Well done, Sully. Well that was done. Incredible. Sully. That was incredible. Good steal. Furious. Furious. Awesome. Excellent I work. I have that in the bag. And finally, Ollie, it's your turn. You looking forward to this? Yeah, I can talk quietly, uh, slowly rather. Everyone else has done quite a nice audible narration voice. Mm, big gonna, demo, I'm especially. Grind this out. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that was really nice. It sounded like you were trying to flog mm. me a credit card. I was doing my very best. I was, I was me working for RBS all over again. <laughs> uh, Hello, the, old woman. The fanciest wrestler <laughs> is Ooh. your topic. Um, the fanciest wrestler. You have one minute on the clock to talk about the fanciest wrestler starting now. When I, Oliver. James Davis think about 
the fanciest wrestler, I have to interrogate what the word fanciest means. Oddly, when I think of the fanciest language, my mind is immediately taken to a cat. <laughs> so, Sullivan. Sullivan. Uh, yep. Sullivan. Sure. Yep. Sure. Yep. Cat. Uh, no, no, no. You've been, you've been challenged. He's, you've been challenged. He's you've a been proper Tory. I love it. Um, <laughs> Sullivan, what's your challenge? I mean, surely, like, deviation. It's some <laughs> form of deviancy. It's absolutely I was some form of deviancy. coming down to Ernest Miller. Well, you took 35 fucking seconds to that come down awesome. to Ernest Miller. Really. That's, the, that's the aim of the game. Uh, so, uh, Sully, I accept your challenge. That was uh, complete you. deviant behavior. Uh, you have 24 seconds, uh, quite, ap quite appropriately, to talk about the fanciest wrestler. Uh, 24 seconds on the clock, starting now. The fanciest wrestler can only be judged by the amount of glitter and sequins they are wearing at any given time. <laughs> now, how shiny can a wrestler get? We will see in the list of wrestlers that I think are particularly fancy. There is, for instance, Charlotte Flair. What? And a that's time. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Just about. Just about. I thought you were just going to start listing. <laughs> yeah, Honestly, I nailed it. It was a great technique. Nick it just Foley. didn't work at the right time. In all his. What did you say? In all Mick Foley's iterations? Incorporations. Or... I said it wrong. I wasn't even close to what I wanted to say. Great. The three incorporations of Foley. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, well done, GC, everyone. GCSE work there, to be honest. <laughs> we have some advanced scores, which is excellent news. We now have. And a current ultimate loser in last place. Your ultimate loser currently with four points, Ollie Davis. In third place with five points, Pete Quinnell. Shooting up to second place with nine points, it's Sullivan Bo Brown. And still with 12, it is Big Damo. Get in. Get All in. All right. Oh. So we're now, we're now going to move on to <laughs> this this may be a train wreck with y'all uh but uh, we're moving on to a round that we haven't seen in quite some time which is the quizzlemania championship jam that jamble so if anyone's ever seen a championship scramble these are the rules uh three minutes on the clock the person in last place will start which is you ollie davis i will ask you a trivia question if you take more than five seconds without an answer or you answer incorrectly i will say to the room at which point anyone can buzz in to try and give an answer and take control whoever is in control at the end of the three minutes will get 10 points that's a lot. We can all That's... be Brian Kendrick here, boys. That's oh, yeah. right. That's right. So, uh, to reiterate, whoever is in control will be asked a question. You cannot buzz in while someone else is in control. Uh, however, if that person gets it wrong or takes more than five seconds to answer, I will say, to the room. Only when I have said, to the room, you can buzz in. If you buzz in and get it wrong, then you cannot buzz in again immediately. Um, and we will, whoever gets it right, will carry on. If no one gets it right, then we'll simply start the next question to the room. Uh, and then we will see who's in control at the end of three minutes. So much trivia in this quiz. So, I'm... so we don't get any points for correctly buzzing in or anything? No, Peter, just, you just get points for being no points there for right, at, right. No. We're right at the wanna, end. I just okay. want to, okay. All right. Come on, Peter, it'll be fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ollie, you are in last place. You are currently our ultimate loser. Are you ready? If I say the answer really slowly, but I start saying it within the end of the five second period. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> Have you forgotten the golden rule of Quizzlemane? <laughs> Don't be Win. a dick about okay. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll call that as we see it, but uh, I am not going to be lenient with you. Uh, 
Uh, right, so you're going about to have three minutes on the clock. <clears throat> when three minutes start, I will ask you your first question. Is everyone ready for the championship jamble? Uh, Can't be yes. any worse than this, I guess. Great, great. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what you like <laughs> to I'm see. There's your team spirit. All scared. right, three, three minutes on the clock. Ollie, here we go. Who was the first SmackDown Women's Champion? Uh, Alexa Bliss. <sighs> Incorrect to the room. Pete, uh, Becky Sullivan. I heard, I heard Pete first. Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch is correct. Pete, you're in control. Name all five people to have ever been in sanity. Killian <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dane, Nikki Cross, uh, uh, Eric Young. God, my brain is going mental. Uh, uh, nah, my brain to the room. Completely... Demo. Demo. Um, Alexander Wolf, Sawyer yeah. Fulton. Correct. Uh, Demo, you're in control. Who captained the winning team in the first ever main event of Survivor Series? Paul Hogan. Incorrect to the room. Ollie. Ollie. Ted DiBiase. Incorrect to the room. Pete. Sullivan. Pete. Uh, Macho Man. No, Sullivan. Oh shit! That was my guess. Uh, um, uh, the Ultimate Warrior. No, it was Andre the Giant. <laughs> um, <laughs> this question is for everyone. Which football team does Triple H support? Demo. Pete. Demo. It's a lie, but West Ham. West Ham. Yeah. Who, Demo, you're in control. Who was the first WCW star to appear on WWE television as part of the Invasion storyline? Lance Storm. It is correct, including middle name. What is the full name of Vince McMahon's father? Can, no. To the room. Sullivan. Sullivan. Vincent John Kennedy McMahon. Incorrect. Oh. <laughs> Ollie. All right. Uh, Ollie. Killian. Incorrect. How many <laughs> times? This is to the room. How many times has John Cena won the WWE Championship? Demo. Ollie. Demo. 15. Incorrect. Ollie. 16. Incorrect. Sullivan. Like Sullivan. 14. Incorrect. Pete. Pete. Uh, 12. Oh, it's the incorrect. Movie. It's 13. What is the oh, Undertaker's? Pissed. This is to the room. What is the Undertaker's current WrestleMania win loss record? Pete. Ollie. Pete, I heard you first. 21 and 2. Nope. Incorrect. <laughs> Ollie. Ollie. 22 and 1. Inco yeah, incorrect. Uh, <laughs> Sullivan. 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 Uh, t 23 and 2. Incorrect. 22 and 2. Incorrect. 25 fuck. and 2. Oh, uh, what was the bastard. main event of the first WrestleMania? Uh, Ollie. Fuck. Oh. Ollie. Ollie. Uh, Roddy Piper and... No! Uh, versus Mr. T and Hulk Hogan uh, and Paul Orndorff was in there. In a Correct! Roddy oh, Piper you... and Paul Orndorff <laughs> versus <laughs> Mr. T and it's Hulk. I can't believe he did it. I can't believe he did it. You twat. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Good work. I'm the winner. Uh, I'm the fuck. winner. You took so long answering that. You All right. <laughs> um, you just zoomed up after, a second. After that jamble, <laughs> after that jamble, the scores are as follows. In last place, our ultimate loser with five is Pete. Piss flaps. In third place <laughs> with nine, it's Sully. In second place with 12, it's Demo. In first place, it's Ollie Davis. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are moving on to our next round. Maybe we'll come back to the jamble at some other point <laughs> in the show. Right. Uh, we are moving on to uh, Pete's favorite round. It is Barber <laughs> Shaw. Oh, no. Look at that. <laughs> I... First, before we do, actually, tell you what, before we do Barber Shop, uh, I am going to do some Ultra Chats because there hasn't really been a point where I could stop and do them. So we're going to do uh, about five or six Ultra Chats so everyone can get their breath back after the jamble. Matty Maitai says, Team Big Sully versus Indentured Servitude is our Bucks versus Omega and Page. I don't care about Ollie's massive losing streak. I just want my boy Sully to win the big one. Come on, you 
beautiful bad boy bastard Bo Brown. We believe in you. Hashtag kill Johnny Bollocks. Kill. <laughs> hey. Uh, Matthew Mai Tyson's question for all. With the short times for the women's matches noted in the Queen's Crown tourney, do you think WWE is going backwards booking the women's division? And also question for Sully, will you ever post your 45-minute fantasy booking of John Cena's heel <laughs> It's long deleted. Long deleted and <laughs> rightly so. Uh, personally, I don't think Queen's Crown is indicative of the women's division. I think it's more indicative of the fact that the Saudi shows are thrown together at the last minute with sticky tape. Uh, I, it, they have been getting less time than the men, so like I, the optics are bad. But I, I like to think they're not going in, like back to the bad old days. Uh, no, there was a what... SmackDown the other week that had three women's matches and then two dark matches for women's matches as well. So it was uh, it's nowhere near what it was where it was like ninety seconds every three mo three weeks or something like that. So yeah, hopefully absolutely. we never get back to that. So. Uh, Virgil on the motor says having a rough few days, but Quizlemania returns just in time. Welcome back, Fat Checker Tempest. Oh, he's not here. Finally attending a Comic Con again next month. It's been too long. Remember, Woo! if you can't accept losing, you can't win. Hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag support each other. No Sidious says hello. After yesterday's board game club's targeting of Laurie's head, I feel there needs to be a bald uprising amongst the Wrestle Talk family of channels. So I'm <laughs> firmly supporting Pete tonight. Hashtag bald that bald. Always be shining. I'm afraid Damo has scooped your support, Pete. And Brett Storm says this will be a great. <laughs> show unsure who i want to win between demo and sully on one hand i maintain i want sully to win at least one quizlemania but on the other it's big demo and he's great <laughs> basically what i'm saying is can one of you win please and we'll zachary b1013 Zachary B1013 says, finally something fun happens on my 23rd birthday. Quizlemania is always the best part of the month for me, even though it's Losers Club. You're all winners in my heart. Aww. Thanks for everything and jam that jam. Thank you, Zachary, and happy birthday. All right. Uh, we're going to move on to uh, Pete's favorite round, which is Barber Chop. Um, <laughs> never what I've done... Genuinely will never forgive you for that. It's not It's not my... I didn't take the picture, Pete. <laughs> that was you, Pete. Uh, oh, so we, uh, what I've done is I've taken various wrestlers' hair. I've taken various hairstyles that you might recognize from the world of wrestling, etc. And I've transposed them onto Pete's head like some sort of woolly <laughs> willy. Oh, shit. Yes. So um, this is not a buzzing round. You get to take your time with this one. Take your time and enjoy it. It's for the best. And I'll, be, and I'll be reading some ultra chats as we do this. But I'm going to show you a picture of someone uh, whose haircut has been put onto Pete Quinnell's big bald head. Uh, you then just have to write down who that person is. Who is that person that I've transposed their hair onto Pete? Simple as that. You're going to write it down on your little thing, and then I'll go to you one by one. Show it to the camera. If you get it right, that's three points. That ain't nothing to mess with. Uh, right, first up, uh, who is on Pete's head today? <laughs> Who's that on Pete's head? Write down your answers. Wrestling Talk Sign Guy says, when I saw the thumbnail for this, I didn't understand why it would be called Losers Club. I figured Pete was going to be the host and Damo was a substitution for Denise. How disrespectful to the championship. At least Ollie has a nice golden tan. Uh, Blair is a carrot, has donated, saying, I can honestly say since its inception, I've watched more hours of Quizlemania than Raw and SmackDown. Van Twinblade has said two things. Read this around half time, please. Uh, it's Love O'Clock. Say nice things about the other competitors. And check out this month's Glory Pro Wrestling to see Jake something destroy my sign. Uh, all right, it is Love O'Clock. Uh, that's the tradition here on Quizomania. We're all going to say nice things about your other competitors, starting with you, Sully. If you could say something nice about your other competitors, that would be great. Well, they're all very lovely. Uh, and uh, Big Dome has got a lovely voice and is an excellent, very talented wrestler. Uh, uh, Ollie has been a fantastic manservant to Pete Quinnell. And Pete Quinnell has been jammed that champion for so goddamn long now. I mean, you've got to commend the guy. So he's very talented. Uh, Ollie, would you like to say something nice about your fellow competitors? Uh, Sully has one of the most lovely, constantly bemused facial expressions I've ever seen. Big Damo has the the voice I now want to read all my audiobooks. <laughs> and of course, Pete is the greatest champion and a hell of a Dom. I mean, um, master. <laughs> I see. We're going that we're, we're into that, are we? Uh, and Pete, could you say something nice about your fellow competitors, please? I I, I guess I need to dodge out the way that yeah, sure. Um well, I think that Sully is a very funny man and I enjoy all the videos that he's in. 
Uh, I, I think that uh, Demo is part of one of my favorite matches of all time, being the ladder match at TakeOver New Orleans, which is awesome. So he's really right. cool. And also, Ollie's all right, isn't he? And I tell you what, Ollie <laughs> just just about turned up on time to watch James Bond yesterday. He it, like he turned up just about as the movie was starting. So you know that's that's good of him to do that. Ir- I ironically, say. I didn't have time for No Time to Die that day. <laughs> you, Ollie, and... you got on the wrong train. Don't don't try and mask this. You got on the wrong train. <laughs> and Big Demo, could you say something nice about your fellow competitors? No. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's start with Pete. Uh, Pete, who do you think, whose hair is this? <laughs> I, I didn't know, so I just put Matt Taven because I know he had that hairstyle. Oh, before. yeah. Matt Taven. Uh, let's go to your manservant, Ollie. I went for Dijak or some iteration of Di- Dominic Dijak. All right. Let's go to Fancy Boy Sullivan Bo Brown. <clears throat> I went for The Miz. The Miz and Big Demo. I went for my neighbor. He actually lives around the corner from me. If you can see Commander Aziz. Interesting answers. All can in fact reveal that this is the haircut of Road Ah, Warrior ah, Animal. Boo Earns. I was saying Boo Earns. All right. That is nil point for our losers. They are sticking to form and you have to respect that. Next up, whose haircut is this? Oh, Pete, you wear it well. Um, <laughs> Do, don't I? <laughs> Chazza says, Demo appearing on Board Game Club is what made me start watching No Rolls Bard. And since oh, then, I thoroughly enjoyed everything there. It even made me start collecting board games, hoping for Demo and Sully to tie in first. Yes, absolutely. You can check out Big Demo playing Wavelength and other games uh, with us on No Rolls Bard, where you can also see Sully. Sully's over there all the time because he's a lovely boy and we like him very much. Uh, but yes, do, sub- do subscribe to No Rolls Bard because it's bloody lovely, you know. We really, really are proud of it. It's a board game channel designed to get you into the world of tabletop gaming. Uh, and Luke Owen has donated saying, hi, everyone. Hi, Luke. Um, hey, I'm Luke. Se- I'll, I'll read it in his voice. Hey, up. I'm sending this from bed where I've been since 8.30 p.m. Because that's when Isabel goes to bed. She turns three weeks old tomorrow. Let's go, Sully, for the church of lovely friendos. Love you all and miss you dearly, even Pete. Thank you to the rest of the book team for the wonderful gift. And thanks to all the Quizzlemania viewers who have sent well wishes. You're all amazing. P.S. If Sully doesn't win, then I want it to be Ollie. Sorry, Demo. Oh. oh. <laughs> Thanks, well, Luke Owen. Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, it, how did you get the, Luke to send in a voice note like that? Because that sounded just... <laughs> I have my that's powers. so good. It's Thank so good. you. I'm a, I'm a classically trained. Uh, so um, let's see who this... Actually, we'll go in reverse order this time. So let's start with Demo. Whose hairstyle was that? I didn't write it down. One second. I thought I was last. Uh, I think it was Dana Brooke, maybe? Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke. Uh, let's go with Sully. I think it's either Dana or my guest, Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan is also a good guess. Ollie? It's kind of Alexa Bliss. Alexa like Bliss. A few years ago. And Pete? I didn't know, so I just wrote down Kelly Kelly. Kelly <laughs> Kelly. Uh, can confirm at least one of you is right. This belongs to... Dana Brooke! Woo! Very, very, very good day, Mo. Well Three done. points to you, sir. Gosh, I just realized you do look quite a lot like Triple H with that beard and, and the hair. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> I've seen it I modeled myself on the person who fired me. It sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> I joke, I joke. It was somebody right. else who also got fired. <laughs> Who's... <laughs> Whose hairstyle is this on Pete? Whose hairstyle is this? Uh, AJ says, very random question, but as someone who is very interested in the Irish language, I'd like to know if Demo speaks any, or maybe if he has a story about what it was like learning Irish in school. Oof. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. That is actually a great question. So I I speak minimal Irish. Um, my uh, my sister's fluent. My grandmother and mother were, it seems to be like all the, the females in my family could all speak it. Um, I, I learned Latin and German and didn't do Irish, and I really regret it um, because I know absolutely no Latin at all. I, I know minimal German, um, but like it was 
I, I've tried doing a little bit of Irish since then, um, and it's it's very difficult actually um, because pff, I'm not committing to it enough. So, <laughs> um, but <laughs> it's uh, it is uh, it's cracking language. I, I regret not being more into it, but I'm hoping that I'll eventually you know try it again. But I, I knew little things. I used to be able to sing songs in Irish and whatever else, um, mm-hmm. but now I can literally just swear and and, and say different things like uh, sit down and all that kind of stuff. But that's about yeah. it. Give us a swear. Go on. Give us a swear. Give us Scraggart. a song. Scraggart. Oh, well, the song is, this is a song about a bus. Uh, being in bus, like, well, she's his shoes. She's his shoes. Or something like that. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? The bus going up and down and up and down. So there you well, go. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but Sullivan Bo Brown uh, claims to be Irish. So that's, <gasps> that's a lot of fun. <laughs> he has My a second da- name for a first name. <laughs> exactly. No, my dad's a Northern Irish man. Irish man. <laughs> I, oh, when I, I was I'm a hearing w- that was all right, here. actually. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, my, it, uh, I, 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 when I was a kid, I used to go, when I would go to Northern Ireland to go and visit my family, I, they would often have Irish on the television. I was very confused. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful language. It's very nice. Go I have not learned any of it. Uh, but I would. I really should have yeah. made a big effort, but like when you're a kid, you think, oh, "Why would I learn that? Uh, I'll learn fucking <laughs> German." Yeah, yeah. a cool right. language like German. Can, can, we get, can we get one more one more line of uh, Northern Irish? Because that was actually really good. Oh, thank you, my. It, well, it, Northern Irish was one of the last accents that I learned. <laughs> it's hard to do <laughs> continually. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm classically trained. I'm classically <laughs> trained. So he's a. This is the thing. This is how you do a Northern Irish accent. You you bring the inflection up at the end of each sentence, and that's actually how the key to do it. And you did it every time. I was like, wow, Sully. I didn't know. I didn't Thank know. You. That's amazing. Hey, Incredible. I I should have learned Northern Irish a lot earlier and a lot better. Considering my dad is Northern Irish and has a, a, that actual accent, but. Whatever. Where, where's yeah. he from? Where, where's he from, Sully? <laughs> we have to. Uh, we have to move on. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if I can do his accent. Go on. Where, where's he from? Antrim. He's from uh, Ballymoney, I think. But ba- from Ballymoney. I was Sean Connery. That's no, all. Hello, uh, Ballymoney. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of they're sheep in Ballymoney. Hey. That's uh, that's where mm. that's where they're oh, all yeah. from. You see, that's where the sheep stay yeah. most of the time. That is good. That is actually that's extremely good. I've lost I play control. football about the money. I know about the money. That's I've good. Lost that's all already. <laughs> all right. Whose haircut is this? Jesus wept. Uh, Pete, we'll start with you. Whose haircut's that? I don't know. Raven. Raven. Ooh, uh, Oliver Davis. A wet Jeff Hardy. A wet Jeff Hardy. <laughs> uh, Sullivan <laughs> Brown. Raven. Raven. <laughs> and Big Demo. Actually, it's the one time I had wet hair in a promo photo. It's me. Correct. Yeah. It's you, Big oh, Dave. Hey. Oh. There he is. Yeah. Very so, good. I'll give you a very quick story on this photo. The guy who was taking the photo of this was really mad at me because I didn't lace up the boots because this was being used for the 2K18 <laughs> right. computer game. And he got so mad at me. He was like, is this is this how your boots are going to be? Because I need to send this away. And I was like, yeah, this is exactly how my boots are going to be. This is not how my boots work. In fact, they're not even the boots that I wrestled in. These were just boots that I ran around in when I was doing uh, run-ins and stuff. So, yeah, so get I it, never get noticed. It but they ended up in the computer game. So there you go. I never noticed they weren't done up. Right. That's amazing. All right. <laughs> Whose hair it's is this? Bad. I can imagine. Blimey neck. Who says yeah. that? All right. Whoa. Uh, Jack has said, Adam's old videos and wrestle talk got me back into wrestling. So I'd just like to say, fuck you. You ruined my life. Uh, Luigi is a lad. Says, so glad to be catching a Quizzle Mania live. Best of luck, Sully. Hashtag love that love. Jam that jam. Alan has said, hey, folks, question for Demo. What's your opinion on Northern versus South, uh, Northern versus Southern Tato? Looking forward to seeing you in OTT in a few weeks. <laughs> What's the difference between Northern and Southern Tato? Fuck all. It's made in the same bloody place. <laughs> <laughs> it's sold in the same places, I guess. <laughs> what is what is Tato? That's going to really make me seem English. Tato, what is Tato was actually the first crisp company to make flavored crisps. There you go, cheese and onion. Ooh. First, first ever was Tato, and it's an Irish company. There you go. It's they're they're genuinely great, very good. Oh, lovely stuff. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Sullivan. 
Do you have anything else to say? I will about wait the in and tell you those crisps are appropriate and nice. Yes. <laughs> no, they're really good. <laughs> allow, allow me, a British man, to weigh in on the Irish affairs. Hey, hey I'm half Irish. Look to the people we colonised by t- saying that what he said is correct. Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm half Irish. I'm not having this bullshit. <laughs> I was merely talking about how much I enjoy potatoes, but fine. <laughs> Right. <laughs> who's, who's Good work. This? Good work. Uh, Damo, let's start with you. Who Whose haircut? Is it Kenny that? Omega? Kenny Omega, uh, Sullivan Bow Brown. I've gone for Adam Page. Ooh. Adam Page, Ollie Davis. I too have gone for Hangman Page. It's that little flick at the top. Wait, wait. What did you cross out first? I thought it was a bit ginger at first, and I just instinctively put <laughs> wow. down Becky Lynch. There's literally right. nothing ginger about it, mate. Apparently blonde. <laughs> And it's pe- the freaking <laughs> yellow shift on my PC. <laughs> Von Wagner. Oh, shit, good call. Good call. Carl Bloom. <laughs> it's no, no, not no. a good, it's not a good call, because ob- obviously it's Hangman Adam oh. Page. Hey. Hey. Von Wagner. Three to Sully, three to Ollie. Uh, number five, please, out of six, this is number five. Who is this? And uh, the other Tempest says, hello all. I hope you're doing well. Not sure if he's watching, but I would just like to say congratulations to Luke and his partner on the birth of their child. Wait. Quite agree. Bruh, bruh, well done. Your dick works. Uh, James G says, my boy, <laughs> my beautiful boy, big Sully Bo Brown Bear. It's time to be the best beautiful bride you can be and bring it on home for the lovely boys. <laughs> hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag NRB. Hashtag go, Sully, go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and William <laughs> Rosmer says, Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you for being around to read my bad jokes and hot takes and cover all the wrestling news and play all the game boards. I love you all. Uh, you're all wonderful people. And that is very nice to say. Thank you very much, William. Uh, do we all have answers on the page? Yes. Excellent yep. stuff. Excellent. Uh, we'll start with Ollie. Ollie, who's mm. that? Oh, it is. Why are you starting with me on this one? We're starting with you, Ollie, but for, for, for random's sake, to make sure it's all fair and above board. Yeah, well, okay. I think it's John Cena. John Cena? Well, not a terrible guess. He's, he has got a banker's haircut nowadays. Uh, <laughs> Pete? Well, certainly not his. <laughs> a bit, uh, off piece to you. Linda McMahon. Linda McMahon. <laughs> uh, Damo? Also Linda McMahon. Linda <laughs> McMahon and Sullivan Bo Brown. Um, I, I'm torn. Is it is it No Rosebuds, John Gracie, or is it me? <laughs> <laughs> Which aren't you going for, Sullivan? I'm going to go for me. I'm going to go for me. Actually, I'm changing. It's Sullivan. It's my headshot. My first headshot joke. <laughs> Look at that we lad. You know what it was? It's the little cowlick at the front. I was like, that's me. I remember that. I was I so we hung over. Wrestlers. I thought this was the I round, was... Adam, to guess wrestlers. I'll tell you what. I was so Love hung it. over when this headshot was taken. I was I was still drunk at this point. <laughs> Look at that. An actor's life for me. <laughs> I did Lee D. Uh, this is it. Well, I mean, Sully is a wrestling personality. He's on Quizzlemania, after all. <gasps> Fuck you, Adam. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Pete. Tempest would uh, be so mad. He would. Yeah, he would. Uh, this is uh, yeah. that's three points to Sullivan. Well done. Although I, uh, it's hilarious that you almost thought it was John Crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a deep cut for the Quizzlemania mm-hmm. audience. And finally, who is this? Pete, you look glowing. Thank you, mate. Uh, Minato Dono says... Hey, all just wanted to say thanks for NRB. All my friends and I have gotten hooked on Cosmic Encounter. Thanks to you, and it's amazing. Also, love yours, BOTC, Blood on the Clock Tower. Pete, L I W, 444 Life, if you want to do the hand thing. There Thank it you. is. I was doing it around the head, but yeah. Uh, Big Demo, I absolutely love your energy. And Sully, stay lovely, nice hair. Ollie, I, I love your energy, is what casting directors say to actors who aren't doing well. <laughs> I love your energy. No, <laughs> you're going somewhere else. <laughs> I love your energy. You're clearly desperate. You'll do anything. 
69 intangibles <laughs> underscore Sadie Deegan says, well, if it isn't most beautiful boys in the IWC, Damo, so happy to have you back. Come on, Sully, the church of lovely friendos is behind you. Can't wait to see Oliver bald again. Hashtag Pete deserves better. Hashtag where's the LEDs, Pete? Hashtag RIP add a blonde plate. Hashtag LIW 444L. Excellent stuff. Uh, right, let's uh, see. Let's, let's do Sullivan first this time. Oh, Sullivan, who hey. is that? I've gone for Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane. Big Demo. Very lovely woman. Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane. Ollie Davis. What about Kylie Ray? Kylie Ray. Big Pete. Kyrie Sane. Oh, Kyrie Sane is correct very good three points to all but ollie as we draw that round to a close and i can reveal the current scores which are in last place our current ultimate loser with eight points it's chopper pete quinnell in third place with 17 ollie davis in second place with 18 Sullivan Bo Brown, which means Sullivan. back in first place, it's Big Damo with 21 points. You guys Thank ready you. for another heart stopping three minutes? I know I am. It's time for the championship. <laughs> Yay. Jam that jam Yay. Is. For the championship. I like it too, Sullivan. Uh, Pete, yeah. you're in last place, so you'll be starting in control. I won't be sure. doing the rules again, because fuck yous, if you can't remember. Um, three minutes on the clock, starting now. Uh, Pete, who was the first wrestler to become Grand Slam champion in WWE history? Uh, Bret Hart? I don't know. Incorrect to the rule. Demo. Demo I heard first. Shawn Michaels. It is correct. You are in control. Uh, WWE was once known as the WWWF. What do those initials stand for? Worldwide Ollie. Wrestling Federation. Oh, is correct. You're still in control. Big Demo, WWE headquarters are located in which American state? Connecticut. Correct. What was the name of the WWE television show to receive the single highest rating in the history of the company? Uh, main event? Correct. Very good. Uh, who did Brock Lesnar beat to become King of the Ring? Chris Jericho. Incorrect to the room. <sighs> Ollie. Ollie. Kurt Angle. Incorrect. Anyone want to take a pump before I release the score? The answer. Sullivan. Sullivan. Shelton Benjamin. Incorrect. Rob Van Dam. <sighs> uh, this is to the room then. Uh, what is the name of the rap album Randy Savage released? <laughs> no one. It's called <laughs> Be a Man. Uh, ah, on Be a Man, Andre, Hogan. Andre the Giant's last televised match took place at which event? <sighs> it's a flaw with this round, Adam. We need to actually yep. know things. <laughs> All right, WrestleMania six was your answer. Uh, this is to the room. What is the name of Bailey's talk show segment? Oh, Pete. Ollie? Pete, I heard you just first. Ding dong, hello. It is correct, Pete. You're in control with one minute almost on the phone. Uh, Pete, what is the name of Big Demo's finisher? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Come on, cross, is it? Is that shame? It is, it is not. Um, to the room. Demo. Demo. It was Ulster Plantation, but then it was the Vader Bomb. Absolutely. I'll accept both. Um, number 19. Uh, Demo, you're in control. What was the name of the pay per view where John Cena first fought Roman Reigns in a singles match? I don't need the year, just the name of the pay per view. Oh. Survivor Series. Incorrect. To the room. Hey. Sullivan. Hey. Uh, no mercy. Correct, Pete. You're back in control. Uh, for a short time, Chris Jericho's finisher was what we know today as the skull crushing finale. What did Jericho call it? Overdrive? I don't fucking know. Incorrect. <laughs> to the room. All right. No one's going to get it. It's the breakdown. Uh, this is to the room. If, if you get this, chances are you'll be in control at the end. Who was the first wrestler to win money in the bank at an official money in the bank pay per view? Demo. Sullivan. Demo, I heard Kane. you first. Kane is the right answer. Oh. And you are in control as the buzzer buzzes. Yeah, boy, yeah. A demo. Very, very good. Oh, Current scores. In, in with eight points, Pete. 
17 Oli, 18 Sully, 31 Big Demo, but don't worry. <laughs> They might be a chance to oh, close Christ. that gap. <laughs> We're going to be moving on to our next round. Yes, How many more only. rounds are there? Two. 12, 13. We'll be here till tomorrow. <laughs> Two. Plus, plus maybe another jamble in there if I'm feeling fruity. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. This next round will go very, very quickly. It is indeed the artist defective. Oh, I'm going to give you a wrestler oh, and you have to draw it with your uh, the pen in your mouth. Uh, oh, if someone no. buzzes in and guesses it correctly, that's three points to you and the person who guessed it correctly. Mod Sullivan. Deal. One mind. One mind. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to be going. Uh, I'm going to basically send you a DM when it's your turn with who you have to draw. Sully. Oh, see, uh, close Sully. Better. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, get to it back open. Uh, Ollie, seeing as you already have a pen in your mouth, we're going to have you go first. Remember, there are no teams. As soon as you think you've got it, uh, please buzz in. I've, as usual, you have 30 seconds to draw this. I will tell you when the time has started, Ollie. Uh, Ollie, here is the person you will be drawing. Hang on, let me just get your DMs. Oh, I haven't sent you any DMs. E. Davis. There it is. All right, Ollie, have you got that message through? Wait, wait. On Discord? Twitter? On on Twitter. Twitter. I can send it to you on, <laughs> on Twitter. I'll send it to you on Discord. Bloody hell. Okay, I can go. <laughs> yeah, send it. I don't. Twitter's horrible. <laughs> yeah, not it wrong. is. You're not wrong. Have you... Right. Yeah. Have you got it? Uh, yes, I do. All right. Your 30 seconds start. Now, let me just head on over to some Ultra Chat. Shiva Wilding says, Adam, just watched your four-year-ago res uh, wrestle... Oh, sorry, what culture film this? Goodness me. Princess Bride, Eternal Sunshine, Reservoir Dogs, Casablanca, Whiplash, Holy Grail, Die Hard, The Raid, Inside Out, Serenity, and Shawshank. Wow. Just wondering if any film since would then make the list. Yes, Paddington 2, the greatest film of all time. Paddington 2. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Damo. Paddington 2 oh, no, is I, I know. I heard. Yep. And stop drawing Ollie now. Ollie, stop drawing. All right. Show your masterpiece. If you think you've got it, buzz in. Here we go. Sullivan. Sullivan. Is that Kane and Lita getting married? It is not Kane and Lita getting married. Pete and Damo, you can still guess. Demo. Demo. Miss Elizabeth. Incorrect. And Pete. Uh, Dexter Loomis? Incorrect. Oh. That. Uh, Ollie, talk us through it. Well, it's Billy and Chuck's wedding. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but I should have done more to show that they were both guys. I think that would have given it away. Should have been bow ties. Yeah. There it is. There <laughs> yeah. it is. Uh, big bow ties love. Don't see gender. Big demo, I've sent you a prompt on Twitter. Let me know when you've seen it. Seen it. All right, your 30 seconds start now. Uh, heading on over. Uh, Caleb Maldonado says, Pete, you should make him dress as a furry and do a whole review show as it. Sure. I think, yeah, I think you'd, make a good, you'd make a good furry, Ollie. You're like yeah, a little... Be your first owner. I think a lemur is a good good call for you or an otter. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. Otter. Yeah. Just don't be uh, rabbits because then Ollie will get legitimately turned on. That's true, I took of a course. Quiz once. Apparently, I am an otter. <laughs> and <laughs> stop, so. stop drawing, Big Demo. Stop drawing. <laughs> All right. Can't wait to see this. Uh, Big Demo, uh, everyone, fingers on buzzers. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh what? It's too easy. It kind, of, it kind of looks like something. <laughs> just, 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 just look, look at this bit. All uh -huh. right, Damo. All right. Uh -huh. um, this Pete? was my first attempt, but I couldn't um, quite do it right. Um, Razor Ramon? <gasps> Razor Ramon! <gasps> Incredible. Incredible. What a legend. Well done. Legend. It. Literally just wow. thought of like hair flick. I was like, who has a hair flick? Razor Ramon? Sure. Very good. What Peter. a guy. Was, what a I guy. Could, I could only see it from like the point of view of behind the head. Same so here. I, I, I was seeing it as a coffin. <laughs> he was looking at a coffin. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Uh, Sully. Yes. Check your, check your DMs. 
Here we go. Sliding in there. Here he goes. Oh. You see that? Okay. All right. 30 seconds on the clock mm -hmm. starting. No. Uh, Dorks of Wrestling says, so nobody was going to tell me there was a quiz on Mania today. Thank God for YouTube notifications. Got here just in time for the death of Blam Plate. Good luck, everyone, especially Pete. Jam that jam and L-I-W for life. Um, you, don't, you don't get to do it, Adam. Piss off. You're not part of that uh, thing. Harriet Manga Girl says, evening, everyone. Hope you're all doing okay. It's a wonderful time for quizzing once again. Even though it's the Losers Club, you're all winners to me. Oh, but some no. lovely people there. Only oh. one winner. And stop drawing, please, uh, Sullivan. All right. Okay. It's a bit avant-garde. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh God. Pete. Pete? Kane. Yep. Incorrect. Ollie. Ollie. Is it an attempt at the DX reunion? Incorrect. Is it X Pac? Incorrect. I actually thought that was really good, Sullivan. Talk us Thank through you. it. So this is Daniel Bryan. Look, ah. he's doing his hands ah. up in the air. Damn it. Yes. I thought he was X Pac going for the blur. Yeah. No, I thought yeah. he was Kane going for the pro the pyro, sorry. I Thank thought you. that was bloody good, Sullivan Ball Brown. I thought Thank you was Rob there. Uh, you're right, good lad. Right, good. You're right, good. <laughs> you're a good little boy. Uh, Pete, would you prefer Discord or DMs? I've got Twitter here. Go for All it. right. I'll go over to Twitter. Hang on. <laughs> you, never on. Adam. you wanted it on Snap. Twitter. And then I go, yeah, let's go to the place that Adam wants it. And now you don't want it there anymore. All right. Yeah. Shut up, Pete. Uh, have you seen it? Uh, yep. Good lad. All right, your 30 seconds start with the pen in the mouth. Now. All right. Uh, Zachary Crowley Barros says, so I'm or oh, Crow or oh, Crawley, I think. Uh, so I'm Kayfabe. How does the manservant thing work, Pete? Ollie is head of Wrestle Talk, but you're his master. Does this mean you are in charge of the paychecks and sponsorship deals? Uh, Pete can't talk, so Ollie, if you want to explain the your working relationship. He makes me continue to do all the admin stuff. Uh, so I'm still doing all of that. But Pete tells me when I can and can't do it. It's also more of a free time thing. So like I just go round to Pete's stop house and wash his clothes. drawing, Pete. Pete, stop drawing. Uh, sorry, Ollie, I, I interrupted you there, but... God, done. All right, you're done. All right, fingers are buzzers. Ollie. Ollie? Oh. Nikki, almost a superhero. I'm afraid not. Oh, that was my first guess. Um, Sullivan. Sullivan. Charlotte Flair. Is the right answer. Woo! Very, very good. Um, Pete, Pete, you did that you... with your mouth. Sure did. Did, did he fuck? <laughs> Literally, <laughs> mouth and hands. Those eyes. <laughs> They're yeah. perfect circles. Oh. It's, oh, true. It's, it's true, Pete. Yeah, yeah, I just going to do people. that. It's true, Pete. That's actually the more I think about it, that's sauce as fuck, Pete. How did you do that, Pete? <laughs> if Come. you would like, if you would like two squiggles, and for me to go, tell you what, draw, hey, yeah, drawing, draw a perfect circle, draw a perfect circle again with your mouth, Pete. <laughs> I want a control group. <laughs> control group, <It's> literally. <laughs> and if I hold it like this, it's impossible. I had hand. to do this with my mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got to you got to go like that. <laughs> oh, dignity is precious, isn't it? Uh, right. Um, this is why we're losers, chaps. This is why we're <laughs> losers. Uh, right. Um, the scores as they stand after that brief round. In last place with 14, it's Pete. Then 17, Ollie. 21, Sully. 34, Big Demo. Woo. I think there's just enough time before we do the final round for one last <laughs> chip Did gamble because they make all the difference, folks. Where's the, where's, the, where's the goddamn... I can't find the graphic. There it is. Huzzah. Yes, Ollie. Did Pete not get points for Sully getting the Charlotte Flair right? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, and he's only got 14. I thought you had 14 mm -hmm. last time. No, he had eight last time. Are you making fun of Pete oh, for not he's doing gotten, well? He's gotten two things right. <laughs> no, I, I tried, Pete. I tried. <laughs> yeah, thanks, mate. All right. Um, Pete, you're still in last place. So you, <laughs> you, you're you going to start in control. 
Right. You ready for this? Right. Now, I will, I'm prefacing this. This is the last jamble we're doing. So get in there because there's 10 points mean the but it mean the whole world. All right, three minutes on the clock. Who did Wade Barrett beat to be crowned king of the ring? John Morrison. Incorrect to the room. The, uh, Sullivan. Sullivan. The Miz. Incorrect. Oh, I'm not hearing enough answers. Neville was the correct answer. Who fought in the main event of AEW's first official pay-per-view? Ollie. Ollie. Kenny Maker and Chris Jericho. You're in control. Who holds the record for the longest reign in IWGP heavyweight <laughs> championship history? Ollie. Yeah. You're already in control. <laughs> I it. Hiroshi Tanahashi. Incorrect to the room. <sighs> Pete. Pete? Okada? Correct. Oh. You're in control, yeah. Pete. Name both women to dethrone Shayna Baszler as NXT Women's Champion. Kyrie Sane and uh, Rhea Ripley. Very good, Pete. Mm. Who did Jinder Mahal uh, beat to become WWE Champion? Randy Orton. Correct. What was the main event of the first ever NXT TakeOver? Sami Zayn versus Cesaro? Incorrect to the room. Sullivan, was it Seth Rollins versus? Uh, no, we wouldn't have been too late. Fuck it. Nope, he was know. long gone by. Uh, yeah, it was Tyson Kidd on. versus Adrian Neville. Uh, uh, this is to the room. Name both members of Strike Force. Uh, demo. Hey, Rick Martel and Tito Santana. Correct, you're in control. Who did Seth Rollins beat to become the first ever NXT champion, Demo? I don't fucking know. All right, to the room. Jinder <laughs> <laughs> Mahal. Correct, Pete. You're oh, back yeah. in control. What was the name of Dusty Rhodes' manager during his WWF run? Don't know. That wasn't a name. To the room. To the room. Sullivan, was it something like Cheryl? Cheryl? <laughs> Cheryl? No. Uh, any more last guesses before I give it away? It was Sapphire. Sapphire. Uh, and... This is to the room. Name both participation. Uh, both name both participants in WWE's only stairs match. Pete. Ollie. Pete. I heard you first. <sighs> Big Show and he Kane. Doesn't... Incorrect. To the room. Ollie. Ollie. Big Show and John Cena. Incorrect. To the room. I know Demo. Shit. Demo. Big Show and. Rowan? It was! You're in control! Well, as, as the belt is part of WWE, who has the record for the longest United States Championship reign? MVP? Incorrect. To the room. This might take Pete. it. Ollie. Pete? The Miz. Incorrect. I'm going to offer it to Ollie and Sully. Who has the longest uh, United States Championship reign while the belt was in WWE? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. 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 Who, who goes first? Buzz in when you're Surely ready, lads. It's got to be time at this point. No, no, no. Well, someone's got to get the points. Sullivan. Sullivan. Is, is, it, is it Dean Ambrose? It is Dean Ambrose. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I'm back in again. Oh, furious. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for clapping oh. directly into the mic, everyone at home. <laughs> <But> lovely <laughs> stuff. Lovely, <Yeah>. lovely stuff. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, my goodness gracious me. It was indeed <sighs> Dean Ambrose, also known today as John Moxley, held it for bloody ages. Uh, the scores yeah, after it. that. Score us after that. In last place with 14, Pete. Third place with 17, Ollie. In second place with 31, Sully. In first place with 34, Big Demo. As we move into our final round, which could only be survival of the people who know the most about a very specific <laughs> recipe. <laughs> All right. So... Before we go into that last round, however, a quick word from our sponsors, which is Surfshark. They're great, aren't they? <laughs> Don't take my word for it. 
take my word for it. The point of silly quizzle mania and its silly, silly content is to be a distraction from the world. Ooh, world, you scary. If your response to the world being a stupid place full of awful people is to barricade yourself on your sofa, you've made the smart play. While avoiding the world at large, it seems only fair you get to access the excellent streaming services of the world at large. For that, Surfshark has got you covered. Are you in the UK and want to watch all the Warner Brothers films that will be coming to HBO Max this year? Maybe you're in the US and want to catch all the peep show using UK Netflix. It's great, you should, by the way. Maybe you want to check out iPlayer, Hulu, Global Entertainment and Sports and much, much more, all from the same sofa than you, Surfshark. It has over 1,800 servers in over 60 countries and when you sign up, you can use it on an unlimited number of devices at the same time. It works on Mac, PC, Xbox, PS4, mobile, smart TV, any device you can think of. Get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.deals forward slash jam that jam. Enter promo code jam that jam for 83% off and three months for free. Make sure you use that link in code so Surfshark would slash jam that jam. Enter promo code jam that jam for 83% off and three months for free. All right. Here we go. It's, uh, the final round. This is how it works. Uh, at the start, there's three questions. At the start of each question, you're all in. You're basically your part of it. I'm going to give you a cat. Starting with whoever's in last place and going up to whoever's in first place, I need to give you, uh, you need to give me a correct example of that category. For example, if I say the category is WWE champions, Pete says Hulk Hogan. That's correct. He was. Uh, then we move on to Ollie. Ollie says, oh, I don't know. Juice from Juice and Domino. That's not right, Ollie, you idiot. <laughs> Ollie is removed from the round. Uh, and then uh, we carry on with the three people who are left. And it keeps going round and round like that until there's only one man standing. Um, whoever is the last person standing will get 10 points. Whoever is the second last person standing gets six points. Whoever is the third last man standing gets two points. And the first person out gets nothing. Uh, so this round could make all the difference. As are we doing one of them? Well, how many are we that? doing? How many of these rounds are we doing? Three. Okay. Three. Three of them. All right. So the first category, and I will give you a little bit of time to write stuff down your piece of paper. Oh. It is King of the Ring tournament oh, winners reverse chronological oh. order. So, uh, Pete, you will be going first because you are in last place. Uh, you will give me the most recent King of the Ring, and then it will be Ollie's turn. He will give me the one before that. Then Sully will give me the one before that. Then Damo will give me the one before that. Uh, final point, if you both go out on the same question, if two people go out on the same point in the round, they'll both get the same number of points. Uh, you basically have to get a right answer to move yourself up to the next level of points. Simple as pie. Uh, but as you guys take a few minutes to write down your answers, let me head on over to some Ultra Chats. Nolan the Hybrid Evan says, hello everyone, I'm curious. Favorite AEW match so far is? Mine's Cody versus Dustin. Also, Adam and Sully, I love No Rolls Bard. I wanted to mention that I feel when I... I wanted to mention that I feel when I ramble about how much I like Scott Stein, it's like a drunk uncle ranting about Israel. Jam that jam. And that one kid, 028, says, RIP Adam Blamplay. Also, Big Demo would love to interview you for my channel, that one kid. Also, come on, Ollie. We all know you're the biggest loser, LIW444 Life. Care Bear says, thank you for being a place to distract me from my mental breakdown. Absolutely, Care Bear, you and me both. Uh, Mr. CJ Lilly says, hey, guys, I really liked NXT last night. I feel people are treating 2.0 like some sort of like some of the homegrown stars from last year like alexa baron as if they aren't from the industry before wwe just because it's different don't mean it's bad i mean i've heard last night's was was good too <laughs> pete you've seen it oh pete it was fine it was oh, it was the pete. best episode of 2.0 they've done so far which is a very low bar and kears 79 says big demo have you ever had supermax and what's your to-go order i have no idea what that is but uh I'm sure it would be lovely. <laughs> cool. Very nice. <laughs> um, and El, Co El Coyote Jason G says, petition to bring Quizzlemania back to two weeks. Absolutely not. Every three <laughs> weeks. Love your love this show. In my eyes, the only loser on the stream is Adam. I miss Blamplate already. No, no, I'm no, no. With no rolls barred, I've got no time left. 
Sorry. Mm -hmm. But I do enjoy doing the show because of the nights like this. On a night like this. Anyway, so uh, let's start with uh, <laughs> Pete, please. Pete, uh, I'm going to need you to give me the most recent king of the ring. Now, to clarify, to clarify before I get in trouble, this is winners of the tournament. So I'm going to tell you for free right now that King Nakamura is not the right answer. <gasps> yeah. mm -hmm. All right, Pete, take it away. It is Mr. Baron Corbin. I He's believe. only gone and fucking done it. He's done it. Well done, Pete. You're still in. Um, now over to your manservant. Who was King of the Ring before Baron Corbin? Now I've got two names here that I think it could be. I need mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go for Seamus. Well, that were quick. All right, so <laughs> that were quick. Uh, Sullivan, over to you, my lad. I also had two names, and that has eliminated mm -hmm. one of the names. So I'm going for Wade Barrett. Is the correct answer? Well done, Sully. He's doing it. He's doing it. Um, big demo, please. The King of the Ring before that. Seamus. Correct, Seamus. Uh, Pete, we are back to you in order to stay in. Who was the king of the ring before Seamus? I'm completely lost after this point. Not a clue after here. Um, so I'm going to skip back and say Brock Lesnar. I don't know. All right. Pete has two points. Well done, Pete. Two points. That's not shabby. Uh, but that does lead me to you, Sullivan Bo Brown. Who was the um, king of the ring before Seamus? I think it was quite some time. In between Seamus and somebody else, or I think, is it is it the great William Regal? Correct. Very good, Sullivan. Um, Demo. Booker T. King Booker. Correct. King Booker. Um, who was King of the Ring before Booker T. Sullivan? It's a good. It's a good. Oh, it's a good question. Good uh, question. Good I'm going to go. I'm going to go. <laughs> Because I know that he has won it, judged by a few que questions tonight. Brock Lesnar. Holy fucking shit. You're right, Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. Nice this doesn't make any gap. sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, Big Demo, the king of the ring before Brock Lesnar. It's one of two. I think it's Edge. It is Edge. It is Edge. <sighs> Sullivan, who was the king of the ring before Edge? <sighs> All right. This is when I was watching it, 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 like heavy duty stuff when I was a little kid. This is that my, my core memories. If this is inside out right now, I'd be looking at somebody wearing a crown. And <laughs> I I do remember that Kurt Angle won it. So I'm going to go for Kurt Angle. Fuck me. Fuck me. He's still in it. He's, he's going to go down swinging. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I fucking got. <laughs> well, we're very proud of you uh, because Big Demo, it is up to you. Who was King of the Ring before Kurt Angle? This is 1998 or 99. Ugh. Ugh. I'm thinking it's Billy Gunn. You're thinking correctly. Oh, very, fucking very hell. Good. Um, who was. I myself into oblivion here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, that wait, what do you think the word spaff means? Exactly <laughs> what you think it means, mate. Exactly what you think it means. Very nervous spaffing going on right here, bro. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, clip that. Uh right, um Sullivan, who was King of the Ring before uh Billy Gunn? Was it was it Stone Cold Steve Austin? All right, so Demo. Oh. In order to not get six points alongside Sullivan, you need to give me the next correct answer. Oh, Otherwise, you will get six points. Oh, I'm afraid not. Six points also go to you. The correct answer was Ken Shamrock. Oh, that was oh. Really hard. That All was... right. So, very, very good. Scores as they stand. 16 to Pete, 17 to Ollie, 37 to Sully, 40 to Demo. As we oh, move in, as we move into our second tiger, category, like Tiger. Oh yes, 
including part-timers, oh, anyone bollocks. who's ever been a part of the Nightmare family. Right. Okay. Cool. Shitting bollocks. fuck. All right. Anyone who's ever been part of the AEW stable, the Nightmare family, including one time only part time. Basically, according to Wikipedia is the is the disclaimer here. I went on Wikipedia and I copied all the names. So if you got a problem with that, your issues with them, not with me. Uh, welcome back. Says, hello, lads. Speaking of charity, I wanted to ask if you would consider having your December quiz be for Jack Septic Eyes Thankmas. He's trying to raise $10 million for the homeless. You can look up hashtag Thankmas or Jack Septic Eye uh, for more details. We will look it up. Thank you very much. Uh, Mayor of Painsville, Dan. Hello, Dan. Says, hello, guys. How is everyone? A loser special with the biggest bridesmaid, never the bride in WrestleTalk history. I even cannot get on this special. That's how much of an L I am. Uh, thanks, Mod Mother, for shaving your head before I suggested that dodged uh and munchy mal saying question for demo are you doing any more ott shows after halloween i never miss the ott belfast shows but can't make it that weekend so just wondering if you'll be back in the future are you looking forward to coming home and getting a proper crisp sandwich <laughs> i'm very excited about getting home absolutely um right now we've just booked those two but hopefully we can work something out down the line um love working for ott and it's very close to home so it's even better for me so fingers fingers and toes crossed yep Amazing stuff. Uh, G.I. Carpio says, just want to say that I got to a wrestling convention two weeks ago and Melina was there as a guest. I told her about watching her on Quizlemania and she signed my Wrestlemania jersey with her name and even put hashtag Quizlemania on the jersey <laughs> too. We're big Melina fans over here. And LJ Mickey says, good evening, everyone. What's your ultimate vacation destination and what will be the ultimate Marvel DC crossover movie? Thanks for the content. Jam that jam. Big Damo, I know you're a big um, comic movie nerd. What would be your I ideal Marvel DC crossover? God, that'd be... Uh... I've actually just started watching the, the Crisis crossover, which is all of the, the DC TV shows coming together, like to try and make it all into one world, which is oh, their yeah, way. Oh, yeah, they're doing the Flashpoint thing, aren't they? Yeah, but like they've done it. To try because they move networks for Supergirls, like to do with American things. Um, so they're trying to put them all into the same world. So I've just started that, which has actually been a lot of fun. Um, what would I think would be the best kind of way to cross over? That is an incredible question. Um, I'd like I, to honestly, I, I, I want to see them do something with X Men first before we, we worry about DC and mm. stuff like that. But I imagine when comic books start dying, they will definitely do the uh. So, <laughs> Like the, when the when the genre starts failing, we will absolutely get like a, a joint thing. It'll probably be like um, they go back in time by accident and end up in a different world or whatever. But uh, no, that is a good question. I'm gonna have to gonna have to think on that. But my favorite holiday uh, destination was Rome. The answer ooh, is Rome. That's Loved very it. good. It history. History. Uh, Deadpool kills the DC universe, please. Oh. That would be my <laughs> idea. Because he's he's done it with the Marvel Universe. They released a, a series of okay, comics hilarious. called Deadpool Kill, Kills the Marvel Universe, and he does. He kills everyone in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> what if Marvel zombies end up in DC? Oh no, uh, that would be a really yeah. good back and forth. Oh, that was a great comic. I loved Marvel zombies. Uh, right, um, okay, everyone. We're going to do this, and we're starting with Pete, because Pete is still <clears throat> just in last place. Uh, Pete, including part-timers, please name me someone who has been in the Nightmare family. I'm going to have a really obscure one to start with. Um, Cody Rhodes. Holy <laughs> shit, Pete. Are you sure? He's done it. Shit. Right. Uh, Ollie. Good, good guess, Master. Yeah. Dustin Rhodes. Dustin Rhodes is also in the Nightmare family. Uh, Sullivan Bo Brown. Uh, Brandy Rhodes is also in the Nightmare Family. Big Demo. Arn Anderson is also in the yeah. Nightmare Family. Peter Quinnell. Nick Comaroto. I believe, yes, was in the Nightmare Family. Um, Ollie. QT Marshall. Was. Dance player extraordinaire. <laughs> was in the Nightmare Family. Um, Sullivan. Uh, oh, um, uh, I now oh, awesome Cole. Oh, no. Sully, you break my heart. You break my heart. Um, all right, my collective. You fucking Ooh. idiot, Sullivan. You fucking idiot. Um, Damo. DDP. DDP was once in it. Yeah, he wore the jacket. Um, right, Pete. 
Um, Anthony Ogogo was not in the nightmare. Family. Was he not? Oh wow! I not, thought he was. Down. Not according to my Wikipedia list, he wasn't. Oh, I hope I, I hope I'm wrong. Um, right, so that's two points. No, wait. Yes, that is two points to Pete. Uh, right, uh, Ollie. They are weird. They've got like you can join the Nightmare Family, but you can also train at the Nightmare Family facility, and those two things don't always link. I didn't uh, say Red Nightmare Velvet, Factory. Uh, Red Velvet is correct. Red Velvet was on the list. Uh, Damo. Bro Brandy's former tag partner, Ali. Uh, yep, correct. That's on the wow. list. Um, all right, Ollie. Fuego del Sol. Correct on the list. Big demo. MGF. Correct. Former, oh, former, former member. It's a great feud, actually. Um, Ollie. Oh no. I've got one more, and after that, I'm fucked. I think I, I've got one more as well. But a go go has not been in there, has made me doubt it. Aaron Solo was in Nightmare <sighs> Factory. Big demo is my last one. Arn Son Brock, correct. Ollie, how many are left? One, according to my list, which again I got from Wikipedia, so you'll get off my back. Uh, Lee, oh. Uh, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Uh, Lee Johnson, I'm removing from the list because I just ah. said the word Lee. Uh, so, yeah, there are now one, two, three, four, five. Shit. There's too many people in that faction. Um, what was your mind thinking there? <laughs> I'll just read them out. I, I did. Okay. I was just like, I'll read them in order. I don't, I've got no idea. Uh, Oh, oh, oh my God, Stephen Amell. Oh, shit. Correct. Very good. Big Damo. I'm out. Indeed he is. Ollie. Uh, Big Damo gets six points for that. Very well done, Big Damo. Very well done, Big Damo. Um, Ollie, you need to get me, give me one more answer to get the full 10. Do I need to give you one more? Is that it? Yeah, no, you do. But that didn't, doesn't it come back round and it's okay? No, <laughs> give me one more. Oh, I don't know. So I know that Rosaria Dawson wore the jacket recently. So I'm just going to say her. It wasn't on my list, I'm afraid. Six points no. to you, Ollie. All right. So the people that were. Why did you left... not give him the Rosario Dawson bird? Like she beat up Alistair Black and everything. It's not. It's not on the list, Damo. I don't know what you want me to tell you, mate. I I, I don't know what you want me to tell you, but it's not. I don't on know. The list. I, I think there should be some sort of. Uh... Well, we're all losers anyway. It doesn't matter. Carry on. <laughs> Quite I am right. pissed. I had literally every <laughs> single person that got read out on my list, but I went for a go-go first. I thought a go, -go was in the gimmick. Apparently, yeah. he was only part of the Nightmare Factory. Yeah. According oh, okay. to the the comments. Collective uh, Family Factory is a what's nightmare. An dog? <laughs> Sully, that was, that was an important mistake, I'm afraid. That was an important mistake. It's not... Oh, Sully, all hope is not lost, because here's the current scores. It is for me, La unless I get 10 as well. In last place with 18, it's Pete. Remember, you're not competing to be first. You're competing to not be the ultimate loser. I mean, winner is yeah. good too, but not be the ultimate loser. But Pete, you're currently the ultimate loser with 18. Ollie has 23. Sully has 37. Damo has 46. So, <sighs> Ollie, uh, yeah. Sully, you could do this. You In could theory. do this, my, my boy. Uh, yeah. Right. I, I, okay. If I get six points and Ollie gets zero, we tie. <laughs> if I get ten and Ollie gets zero, I win. If I get ten and Ollie gets two, I win. Other than that, I lose. <laughs> oh, Pete. Pete. Well, look, uh -oh. we, we're not there yet. All right, here's the final category. I want you to name me any wrestler that's part of the PWI Top 50 Male Wrestlers 2021. That was released not too long ago. Um, we're going to end with this. It's all to play for. Any one of you, well, Sully and Damo, could win. But any one of you could not come last. You got this, Pete. The, the chat believes in you, Pete. All right. 
John Loper says, Damo looks like if Pete ate Pete and that Pete ate another Pete. Good luck to everyone, but let's go Sully. <laughs> That's what we did. That's what we did. <laughs> <laughs> that really got me uh generico please don't eat my kids says happy quiz of mania day everyone i'm assuming this is losers club edition in the sense that they could all dispatch an uh, an evil clown demo loved your team with maverick on nxt congrats for pulling off the ball hashtag smooth demo hashtag jam that jam Dirty Rich says, holy shit, I had no idea there was a quiz today after ironically thinking this morning, when, when would the next one be? Go Sully! Adam, I'm hoping to send the gift out to you guys soon. Good luck to all. Stay safe. Jam that jam. Thank you, Rich. Jam that jam. Nate S saying, is it Adam's birthday? Nope. We get the treat of seeing him hang out with all his real friends. <laughs> Just kidding. We all love you. Jenna coming in like it's the Queen Dom where the king bowed down. Uh, showing Pete who the real boss is around here. Evan the Giant Canadian uh, saying... Evan the Canadian Giant, I should say, saying, starting up dress rehearsals for a play I'm in, Tartuffe by Molière. Uh, Sully knows about that play. Uh, so today, I remembered a quip you made, Adam, about DX as Shakespeare. So my question, what promo do you think could be funnier in Shakespearean English? Christ. Um, I, I would like to see Austin 316 in Shake, as a Shakespearean sonnet, please. I want Steiner math. <laughs> Steiner oh math, Pete. Oh, I think you've won, Pete. <laughs> and the legit underboss saying is it just me or does laurie look like he's been hitting the gym also <laughs> i got it because demo demo has a ginger beard and, and oh, laurie has a ginger yes. beard yeah yes, yeah I, no, I get it. yeah yeah if laurie ate pete <laughs> actually no so that makes pete the pichu that makes laurie the pikachu and that makes demo <laughs> the raichu yeah <laughs> or russian <laughs> dolls yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's more like ma- ma champ and ma choke and you know. <laughs> yeah, I'll ma take chomp. being ma chop. <laughs> Uh, the legit underboss saying, uh, is it me? Oh, we've done that one. Uh, also, whoever finishes in last, remember Denise Salcedo is still out there. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, right. Um, let's do this, folks. Is this actually a number one contenders match to face Denise? <laughs> the greatest <laughs> loser of them all. Awesome. A race to the bottom. Um I have 50 names in front of me. I'm going to cross them off one by one uh, as you read to me your answers. We're going to start with Pete. Of course, we're starting with Pete. Uh, then we're going to go to Ollie, Sally, and Damo. Pete, please give me a member of the PWI top 50. Kenny Omega. That was number one. Very good, Peter. Uh, Ollie. Roman Reigns. Number two. We're doing this in order, are we? Love it. Sully. Uh, John Moxley. John Moxley, almost definitely. Let me just find him. If he isn't, I'll he, be he was number one the year before. <laughs> <laughs> he was number six. Don't worry, Sully, you're still in. Uh, <laughs> My good friend, Finn Balor. Finn Balor was number eight. For girl. Um, Pete. Um, let's pick a name. Edge. Edge. I don't think he's did he have enough matches in 2021 to uh in 2020. Oh, Pete, <laughs> <laughs> oh, have, like seven no. matches or something. I get three. Oh, Pete, you, oh, did, Pete, you did all the maths, Pete. <laughs> all the maths at the beginning. <laughs> he a go go it again, Pete. I want to see you with the championship when, when you come back. Uh, right. Uh, next up, it's Ollie, uh, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre is number four. Good old Drew. Um, Sully. Uh, Brian Danielson. Brian Danielson. Is he not? Wouldn't, wouldn't he be in another name? You didn't wrestle that or much, Daniel did Bryan. Daniel Bryan was number 36. So he went Oof, on. He, apparently he was that's not what Sully. That's not oh, Sully. shut yeah. up. Dan. It's the same man. Same man. Uh, big Damon. Uh, Biggie. Yeah, 13. Um, mm. Ollie. Uh, Tanahashi. Horseshoe. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no. No, he's wrestled. I'm afraid not. All right, that's Ooh. two points for Ollie. Sully and Damo, like it was always meant to be. Is it me? Yeah, it's you, Sully. Hangman Adam Page. 
Almost. Definitely. 34. Lower than I expected. That's um, a lot lower. Mm. Big demo. Volta. Volta. 28. <laughs> Sully. Uh, Randy Orton. Number 12. Big demo. Have we said Bobby Lashley yet? We have not. Number three. Okay, okay. Very good. Oof. Uh, Sully. Oh, Chris Jericho. Yep, absolutely. He was number 19. Big demo. Gary and Cross. Gary and Cross, number 16. Um, Sully. Tommaso Ciampa. Oh, Let, me risk. Let me check. Let me check. Afraid not. Six points to Sullivan Bo Brown. Will you be getting the full 10, Big Demo? Just one more name on the list. Uh, uh, oh, Nick Aldis. Nick Aldis was on the list at number 30. 10 points to Big Demo. Good very, friends. Very, very good. Atta boy, Nick. Atta boy. Which means our final scores as they stand. Um, in third place with 25 ollie davis in second place with sully possibly your highest score ever with 43 so. big demo you're a winner baby vindication, got... vindication. 56 <laughs> big boy points but ultimately it comes down to our ultimate loser can we have a word from the champ no <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, we've got Grumpy Pete. <laughs> I'm more than anything. I'm just a bit embarrassed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, like I had a That's really, nice. really long list of all these names oh, written out, and I was like, oh, I don't know, I'll just pick anything. Edge, yeah, sure. I was like, and didn't think anything through. That's oh, Pete, lovely Pete. Shit, um. It? That is our, that's the main body of the show. We're going to jump into our ultra chats. Ollie, you've got to be up early for the news. So we will be saying goodbye to you. Does anyone else need to go? We're pretty much bang on the two hour mark. Uh, I'm going to run through super chats with anyone who is free to stay. But if anyone needs to go, please do speak now or forever hold your peace. You have 20 minutes, sir. 20 minutes? <laughs> I reckon we could do it. All right, Ollie. Goodbye, sir. Bye bye. Congratulations on third. Sorry, Cheerio. You're, you're you're the biggest winner to me. <laughs> All right. Peter Mullen says, Denise Salcedo, but meaning to talk to you about this. You should probably probably find yourself a safe house or a relative close by. Lay low for a while because you're probably wanted for murder. Anyway, come on, you kind and fancy man. Hashtag Boise Boy Brown. Hashtag lovely losers. Laugh track says, question for Adam. Do you intend on playing card games on NRB in the future? If so, I have a few suggestions. Red flags, distributed friends, and drunk, stoned, or stupid. I would also suggest Cards Against Humanity, but I reckon that is never happening. Cards Against Humanity probably is not happening. Uh, but yeah, we're playing a card card game next week uh we're playing cockroach poker which is one of my favorite card oh, games yeah. ever 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 yeah. uh it's great. ryan ryan more Mohini says hi guys glad to see uh quizomania back again hoping for a big demo win because i'm also from belfast but would also secretly like to see posh sully win uh, i'm also very excited <laughs> to see very excited to see demo at ott in belfast at the Woo. end of the month so demo is we talking special appearance we're talking a match what's what's happening at ott give us a uh, uh, He's at OTT in Belfast, it's actually myself and the Kings of the North tag team against the United Empire, which is Will Ospreay and Ozzy Open. So that'll be fun. Cal Fletcher Wait. and Dungzilla Davis. So that'll be fun. Oh, that should be a hoot and a half. Uh, Eric Nicholson. A lot of fun. Eric Nicholson says, sorry for the late add-in, but I've never been able to send an ultra chat before and can't pass it up. My wife and I are celebrating buying our first house today. Congratulations. Romania. Can't wait. Thanks so much for the entertainment. Congratulations. Well done, you. Get on the ladder. Uh, Vault Knight says, can we get Sully against Pete at Crown Jewel? Uh, uh, he can just get whoever he wants, and Pete just has to convince him who not to pick. Hashtag Denise versus Adam, too. Uh, NRB Memes says, first quiz of main I've got to watch in a while. Lovely time with you all so far. How'd Pete and Ollie like no time to die? My partner Greg and I are going to see Halloween Kills for his birthday. Please wish Greg a happy birthday. Love you all. Greg, have a bloody happy birthday. A very bloody happy birthday, because Halloween Kills, I'm sure, will be very bloody indeed. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing Halloween Kills. Big Halloween fan. It's the worst franchise, but I love it dearly. Pete, how do you like No Time to Die? It was fine. The action was awesome. The villain was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, Amro says, I finally get Keith Lee's new character. He's half man, half bear, and half cat. Anyways, what did everyone think of the Rick and Morty season finale? I thought it was amazing. Can't wait for season six. Hope it doesn't take another three years. I, You know what? I bloody love this season of Rick and Morty. I thought it was really strong. The strongest they've had in a few years. Well, they revisited uh, Evil Evil Morty and stuff like that. So, like, I think that was a massive. We needed to get to that point. Um, I actually watched the them talk about each episode after each episode, which is a really cool thing that they've added. Um, and it's only like like it's two minutes long, but it's like their thought process. Because um, I didn't watch it for like last season was okay. I didn't love season five, but same. this season I really really enjoyed. Yep, I absolutely think I think it's a return to form for sure. Uh, Absolutely. Jack Archer, Jack Archer says two mandem, exciting, excited grapes, arousing stuff. We need some corrugated magazine ASAP as soon as possible. <laughs> ASAP. Uh we'll we'll will get more throbbing cashola. Please stop collaborate here amidst feelings. Yes, longitudinal dude. PS uh, money sign lots, uh smushes, hashtag Jesus 2021. That is a fucking oh, a deep cut. That is a reference to our Christmas special, easily the worst like few hours of programming we do where we just sit and get drunk and talk. And that was us. So it's sending... like the best few hours. It was that was so that was a text we sent uh Pete's that I had to mom. send to my mum. Yeah, a, a text a text yeah. that Pete had to send to his mum, and we all added in a word one by oh, one no. that Pete had to yeah. send to his mum. So, Brilliant. so it was. It originally started off that we had re we were responding to uh, someone who'd emailed us some like terribly worded grammatical awful email asking to advertise on the on the website, and we were like, "This is very unprofessional." So we're just going to respond to something <laughs> equally unprofessional and added a word and went through. And then later on, we played a game, and whoever lost that game had to then send that email in text form to their mum. And I lost, so I had to do that. And I just got a, a what with a shrugging emoji back. And I was like, oh, brilliant. Alex, brilliant. <laughs> Longitudinal, dude. Right I love it that your mum didn't like react. I think my mum would have went on the offensive. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, same here. Uh, Mr. CJ Lilly says, hey, guys, who likes them game boards? And Ollie, missed opportunity to claim your freedom tonight. And where's your name badge, Pete's little bitch? I'm seeing he's talking to Ollie there. Uh, Tonk Plussing, six years ago, I was 13 and watched Adam's video on fantasy booking. Not long after, What Culture brought out their first book, which I had read during detention. Now I'm 19, starting my law LLB degree, hoping Ooh. to be a lawyer. Thank you for the years of memories, Adam. Oh, congratulations, mate. I did law at university, and you've you've toughed it out longer than I did. Uh, uh, I did not enjoy it, but you will. And I hope it brings you great success. Uh, Finnish Inquisition says, I just bought Nemesis. And I can hear my wallet mm. weeping in the corner. Uh, we played, and even though we misunderstood the rules for the first half of the game, we absolutely loved it. Go, Big Demo. Sorry, Sully, we still love you. Big Demo, uh, Nemesis is basically Alien, the board game. And oh, it's sick. beautiful. Fucking brilliant. Ooh. It's, it's, a, it's a big Ooh. old box. It's like 100 quid, but it's like the minis, the alien queens, like all of them look amazing. And you're on this ship fighting them and betraying each other and Ooh. trying to fix the ship. It's amazing. How many yeah. How many players generally do you know what the... Uh, can be can go from one to five. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah, five. Well, maybe buy that for somebody's Christmas, which means I'll have to play it. <laughs> oh, you'll love it. Um, you'll love it. We're actually going to be playing it on No Ros Barge. Ooh, Ooh, advertisements. <laughs> uh William A. White saying, Sully, you're not a fucking idiot. Forget those mean girls. Brody Lee and CM <laughs> Punk aside. What <laughs> Brody Lee and <laughs> Jesus. Brody Lee and CM Punk aside, what was your most emotional wrestling moment? Mine was Ric Flair's retirement match with HBK, cried like a baby. Uh, please plug my crime thriller novel, The Gardener. Consider it plugged. Uh, emotional wrestling moments. I wouldn't say necessarily emotional, but something I was emotionally invested in that I haven't felt the same way about is probably the Gargano Champa New Orleans match with Gargano mm. going back, just like the Champa return, Gargano locking in the Gargano escape with the knee brace at the very end. I was I was screaming at the TV, just being like, Tap out Champa, you fucking dick. I was proper like getting into it, it was awesome. So for me, like but... for me, Champa Gargano, but earlier, way earlier, uh the CWC. Mm. Where you think where you think Champa's they walking out him, yeah. When you think Champa's walking out on him and he just sits next to him and then just holds him, and it's just like it was very friend, cool. just friendship is magic. Why don't mm. why don't why do, why aren't there more friends in wrestling? 
um that uh, the entire ww women's division they're all friends adam that's what the whole story is <laughs> built off i cry every time i watch the daniel bryan monster video package that's mm. incredible yeah. it is incredible yeah. a beautiful bit of editing work there just to, when it just when the music stops and it just they just start the daniel bryan chant and just like triple h is just looking around <sighs> oh, i love it i'm gonna watch it after this <laughs> <It's amazing. laughs> also kofi mania yeah, yeah I was going to say Kofi Mania, yeah. yeah. Mark Henry's fake retirement still yes. gets me. I've watched oh, it like mm. 20 times, right? And like, I genuinely feel bad for him. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So, uh, and then he, he does the turn. You're like, ah, oh, you bastard. It is amazing. Utterly incredible. So good. That was great yeah. work. That was just great. Like, I wanted to see that match immediately after. So, all like, the job was done. Yeah, genuinely. Like, one of the best promos, I think. One of the best promo segments in WWE history. Like, mm -hmm. criminally underrated that. Um, all right, Brian Doyle says, Hey, guys, hope you're all doing well this evening. I have two questions for you guys. One, is Sully tipsy or is it just wishful thinking? And this is geared toward Pumpy and Demo. Whose idea was it to do battle for Jack the Chop? <laughs> uh, Demo's, obviously. Like, he... he <laughs> He was he was the secret guiding hand behind all of WCPW. He'll tell you himself. <laughs> uh, well, first we'll we'll ask Sully. Sully, are you uh, tipsy or is that just how you are? Uh, the, the very unfortunate thing is is that yeah, I I hardly ever drink. I, I'm I'm not I'm, I haven't had a drink all night. I it, it, but when I do drink, I do get very drunk. But when <laughs> I do drink, very, 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 very I love it. I haven't seen Fast Show yeah. forever. Hell yeah! Oh, what a great sketch that is! It was amazing. Oh. Right, right, right. Right. You ain't seen right, me, right? right. <laughs> um, and yeah, whose idea was it to do battle for Jack Jobber? It was oh, man, like whose who's genuine... idea was it actually for real, Luke? Uh, I can't remember if it was. Dixons or more people in the office. Like I, I, we. I remember feeling very trepidatious about it. I was very trepidatious about the entire promotion. I was like, "Sure, we've got time." Um, but it, no, like what? It, it became a collaborative thing. Like there was no kind of single one voice. But I think it was very much kind of the bosses and the people putting it together that were very much originally for. Well, we need the personalities to be to be at the heart and center, not. Demo versus Rampage. Well, 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 yeah, we'll have that. We'll, we'll have that <laughs> on this long yeah, yeah. wind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the base of the Victoria Sponge. We need the icing and the <laughs> and the strawberries. Uh, but I, genuinely, like this is not me dodging the question. I I can't remember who exactly booked exact things, but I don't think. Uh, it, it wasn't Jack. I'll say that Jack didn't put himself forward. <laughs> he was very nervous about that. But whole he thing. did such a great job, and that's all that matters. <laughs> you know what? Bloody hell! Yeah, everyone pulled their weight in that final overbooked <laughs> mess. <laughs> Jack, Jack took a punch. Can't say more than that. Oh my um, god, his hat came off, and it, the first hat... thing he did is scramble to try and put the hat back on. <laughs> come on, come on, lad. Where's your selling? Um, <laughs> Amazing stuff. Uh, That's just Brian... the root of his power, obviously. So <laughs> it, it works like. <laughs> oh, man. Genuinely great days, miss him dearly. Uh, Brian Doyle says, fun fact, Adam, there is a theme based around. There is a theme. I'm assuming theme park. Yeah. Theme park based around Tato Crisps in Ireland. <laughs> called Tato Park. Sort your oh, fucking Christ. selves out, Ireland. Jeez. <laughs> I bet you it's really popular. Like, a potato honestly, that, themed theme of park. You Don't knock it you try it. Type. <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> listen. I went to Legoland, right? And right. It, it's like completely quiet, right? So I can guarantee it's just as popular as Legoland, all right? So, and I love Lego. So, mm. oh, amazing. Uh, right. Uh, I'm going to, we've got about five minutes left of demo. So I'm going to try and skim through and read the demo related questions. Stuart Glenn Cross says, Hey guys, thank you all for the content, which helps me a lot when I'm down. Pete, have you considered making Ollie recreate the famous stand back dance? Uh, uh, also, does anyone else think Damo and Sully would make the perfect sitcom odd couple? That'd be great. But we Coming just get in 2022. NHOJ 1988 says hello lads <laughs> hello lads another great lineup uh, we are watching with our newly adopted cats Moxley and Loomis <laughs> great <name>. amazing 
<laughs> Tell Big Damo we will be at OTT on Halloween to see him and Kings of the North destroy Osprey and Aussie Open from Jono oh, yeah. and Shauna. She loves Sully and Pete. Very there much. you nice. go. Um, Michael Garman's way says Sully is better than Pete, who is better than Dame. Oh no, sorry, Sully to Pete to Damo looks like a three-stage Pokemon evolution. Wait, hey. Sully's underneath Pete? Sully to <laughs> yeah, me? Yeah, it definitely goes Pete to me. But I mean, in the meantime, the hair comes back and then goes again. But you know, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you do this too much and it disappears. Okay. You know I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look at him bragging. Um, Sam Joseph Williams. <laughs> Sam Joseph Williams says, Evening chaps, let's go, Pete. Do LIW proud and not come last, Le Champion. Wanted to say a quick cheers to Adam and Damo for getting me into independent wrestling with WCPW. Oh. Always puts a big grin on my face seeing the all ex uh, WCPW people in NXT. Absolutely. BX for life. BX for B life. BX for, for, for life. Huge fan. That is all of our big Damo. Um, uh, Super Chats. Uh, Demo, I'm going to let you go. It's been amazing to have you here. You are always welcome on Quizlemania. <laughs> and let us know anytime you're near London town. We'll uh, we'll have you over for a board game or two. How about oh, that? no, that, that could happen in the next the next couple of months. <laughs> Gentlemen, yeah. it is my pleasure. My very much pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. Great to see you all. Hope everybody has a very good, uh, good week and weekend and everything so forward. Goodbye. Thank you Thank so you, much, Demo. Cheers. <sighs> what a man. One man. One man. Such a lovely guy. Uh, I love that man. He's great. Uh, Eternal Blue says, on the podcast this morning, I made a silly N uh, NRB reference to Laurie and the hair thing, which led to a horrible idea coming to the head of our champion. Uh, sorry, our champion. Hashtag LIW for life. And I'm simply chatting so to wash my hands of this, uh, Ollie. It's not my fault in it. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Um, William uh, Tochi Jr. says, hey guys, great show. Just wanted to be a bit of a dick and make Adam say, hi, I'm Plumpy. Give us a smile, Adam. <laughs> Love you. Also, jam that jam and LIW for life. Uh, Nate S. says, I have to know, what is Pete's favorite all-time render in Barber Chop? So many great options to choose from. Loving this episode of Quizlemania, Losers Club Edition. Don't care who wins. I just hope that you all have a nice time. Well, you did have a nice time, Pete. Uh, what was, what's been your favorite render in Barber Chop so far? Well, Would you like me I to show, show you them all again? No, please don't. Um, okay. I, I will be honest. I haven't seen a lot of episodes of Quizlemania where Barber Chop was uh present i i okay. haven't watched every episode i do apologize okay um i did thoroughly enjoy razor ramon i thought that was very funny oh yes with the little there you go yeah, yeah, with the little, you go. yeah i thought that was very good uh monk dem man says ollie your hair is beautiful i'm thinking of getting it done who do you recommend jam that jam uh send him a message on twitter hopefully he'll respond to you there uh rob grieve says idea for a quizomania special tempest versus the losers in a handicap match tempest has to score more than the losers combined also i found out <laughs> recently i know someone who's friends with sully and i may have fanboyed a little hashtag jam that jam oh i think i sent them a voice note possibly Maybe. I don't know. Somebody asked me to send their friend a voice note. Hello. I did it. I sent him a voice note. As Adam knows, so, I send voice notes. Ooh. Fuck me, man. <laughs> so every time so long. every time every time Sully messages anyone on WhatsApp, it's never a message. It's always mm -hmm. a voice note. And it's always as he's out and about and it's always incredibly rambling. And it's about it's it's genuinely most of them are like two minutes of my life. Oh, yeah. Hey, you should listen to me and Tom Burgess's voice notes. I've got a 13-minute voice note from Tom Burgess that I'm what? I'm going to listen to after this. Yeah. 13 minutes? How did you got to keep your thumb there? Why not, just, why not just call you at that point? Just, just push the padlock. Push the padlock. And then you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I hate what you've done. Uh, the BT say, says... Adam did play one of your voice notes in the office one time, Sully. And he was like, mm -hmm. everyone doesn't know. Sully just sends voice notes all the time and just played one. And I believe the sum total of what you said was, yes, that's fine. But it did take you about two minutes. Because oh, I, yeah. I think you said, <laughs> like, yeah, no, that's 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 totally fine. I can't see any issues with that. Yeah, no, that's that that's great. Um, yeah, no worries. I think, oh, yeah, that should be okay. It's like, yeah, Sully, no, you said that. <laughs> <laughs> that's me yeah, thinking. I have uh, moved my plans on that on on the wednesday on the 20th so 
um, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, moving it to 7 pm. It's uh, six of one, half dozen of the other for me. <laughs> that that's the voice note where, yep, all good, would have done. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, god, Sally. <laughs> But now Adam knows that it's probably fine. <laughs> I do. Conclusive proof. You probably. Massive ass. Uh, the, B, the underscore BT says, wasn't able to watch tonight. Was playing an in-person game of Blood on the Clock Tower. It's just like the show. Great Deceptions, game. lies, Father Benjamin doing the storytelling, everything. Hope to see how these losers do. Oh, amazing. Well, if Father Benjamin is there, please give him my hellos. Um, mm. Jared says, hey, Pete, please make Ollie say L-I-W for life with more vigor. Every time it's read out on a stream, he sighs and says it with low energy. The disrespect shown to you and Tempe. I know. I need to have a word with him about that. Uh, Brett Storms has been an amazing Quizlemania so far. So another donation. Thank you, Brett. Appreciate that, bud. Uh, Jay Derenzinski. Deren Jay Derenzinski. Sorry about that. Uh, Adam, I just want to say thank you for bringing on Sully to another show. We need more Sully. More Sully. Also, Adam and Ollie, we need some Blood in the Clock Tower merchandise like Sock Puppet Sullivan replica, please. <laughs> Love all of you. Just Sully more. We don't need more. So oh, no, he's not. Can we, can we just sell Sock is. Puppet Sullivan socks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm here. I'm always here. Oh, oh hey. So, to our Quizlemania fan base who have not seen <laughs> No Rolls Barred, <laughs> uh, we have a show called Blonde the Clock Tower, which is like Werewolf Better. And uh, for some reason, uh, Sully's partner, again, Paul Brooke, uh, made him a sock puppet uh, yeah, of, of him. He's got a cup of tea. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Misha Sumrall says Pete may lose Quizlemania but he's our eternal champion LIW for life jam that jam you beautiful mad lads keep bringing the quality scene try not to choose first sonas that have unfortunate slang connotations hashtag Ollie the Otter uh, Dorks of Wrestling Pete is that an avatar the last airbender tattoo clearly you are a winner uh, you appreciate great animation. This has been the best Quizlemania I've ever seen. I love you all so much more. Jam that jam and LIW for life. Uh, huge Atla fans here at yes. uh, Wrestle Talk Tower. Love that show. What a show. What a show. <clears throat> there so is good. no war in Bowsing, say. Um, my Owen opinion says one minute warning is the reverse battle royal of Quizlemania. It's not over yet. They still do it. Go fuck yourself. Uh, one minute warning is over, at least in my mind. Oh, I bloody love that <laughs> yeah. round. Um, Akira Darmeneoki says, Greeting from Philippines. I love watching Wrestle Talk, especially Ollie. Special request for Ollie. Can you do the Drake Maverick spin point? If you ask him to on Twitter, I'm sure he will. Uh, Richard Stevens says, Hey guys, want to say thank you for all the wonderful content on the channel because of your recommendation, Adam. I recently, I recently purchased Betrayal at House on the Hill. My question for you is, Will we see a possible play of the game on No Rolls Bard? Jam that jam. Sully, should we do an episode about Betrayal at House on the Hill? What a fantastic idea. If only we'd thought of it sooner. If only there was a holiday coming up with which one might associate the game Betrayal at House on the Hill. <laughs> Why, that holiday would have to be the spookiest of holidays. Oh, <laughs> Christmas. Uh, <laughs> Imagine if we just don't bring it out. We just leave it till Christmas. Oh, oh um, Andy donated, saying hello. Probably me been mentioned already, but you can't have a loser special without Denise Salcedo. Lowest score in Quizlemania history. Joint lowest average score alongside Matt Raywalt with twenty-two points. That's true. I did ask Denise to be on the show, but she had better things to do. And also check back at the beginning of the episode for a very special message from Denise Salcedo. We got her on the show in at least some way, because, of course, how do you do this show without Denise? Matty Maitai says, you made me believe, Sully. 
this was awesome, you guys. And Sully, you made SRS sweat once. You can make Tempest drizzle. Thanks again, guys. Regards, Matt. Jam that jam. Kill Johnny Bollocks. Kill. And finally, our final super chat. Finishing in a good bit of time. Thank you to everyone who has donated. Uh, Brian Doyle says uh, has sent two super chats in, saying, "Brian Doyle says, have you any of you seen the show Ted Lasso? And if so, what do you think of it? I haven't, but Sally has." Mm -hmm. I have. I started off going like, what? I don't understand this show. And then I realized that it was my fault. It wasn't the show's fault. The show is excellent. It's really, really, really good. It's got three of my friends in. It's got the lovely man of Tiara, who is in uh, No Rose Bard, obviously. Uh, and it's also got my friend Billy Harris and Phil Dunstan, who plays da Jamie Tart. They all went to Bristol a bit with me and they're great. And the show is great. Do give it a watch. Lovely. And Brian Doyle says, what are your thoughts on Matt Cardona's heel run in GCW thus far? And by and large, the recent surge in popularity that GCW has been experiencing. Uh, huge supporters, obviously, of like any swell in support for an independent promotion. And I especially love it when heels troll fans. I mm. love it. And he's been a real trolling bastard. I'm a huge fan of audience games like I, that. I just love the idea of the wrestling man going to the extreme promotion and doing his like sports entertainment thing. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good it's stuff. Really good. Fair enough. Love it. Yeah. It just harkens me back to like um great gimmicks like RVD in ECW, where like his entire gimmick was I can't wait to get to WWF, which is brilliant. <laughs> it's just instant heat. Like, um, what are they gonna you know? Yeah, it's perfect. Um <laughs> doesn't diminish him as a superstar, just immediately turns on his tribal fans. Lovely stuff. That is all of our super chats. Not accepting anymore. Please don't send them in. But thank you for anyone who did. Uh, thank you to Sullivan Bo Brown, who has been here. Thank you. Uh, Bo Brown, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Pete, um, commiserations, obviously, our ultimate loser tonight. Uh, but the jam, that you know, champion, always. nonetheless. So you've got that going mm. for you. Longitude, well, like, et cetera. <laughs> all righty then. Uh, that's, our, that's all. We will see you next month. For some other form of Quizlemania, for Quizlemania 42, you're the best. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>